Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, hello. Is that yours running or mine? I wonder. No, it's not mine. I find that very <laughs> hard to believe. There it wasn't. Is. Hello, hello. <laughs> you still can't see us, probably. That's right. You got to stop sharing. I was closing this. Hello, everybody. Now, once again, Thursday there. date is on. It is. And we are here. And we're so glad you guys chose to spend your date night with us. There you go. And this is a cheap date for me, so I appreciate it. <laughs> That's true. I, I haven't asked for anything yet. Yet. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't say that I'm not going to. No, so. I will say this. Xenia is not a materialistic person, a very appreciative person of the, the most kind, smallest of gestures. And I do appreciate that, I got to say. Okay, don't get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> getting hot yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting hot here. <laughs> and I can't say the rest. Uh, um, um. <laughs> well, well, well. I thought I'm going to put a little bit fun spin oh. on that. Tonight we're going to have a fun night. Uh, you're going to laugh. You're going to cry. You're gonna Why get, you want them to cry? You're gonna get angry, uh, you're yeah. gonna get happy and upset yeah. all at the same time with our super special guest, <laughs> Patsy Houlihan. And for those of you who don't know, you can go and quickly check out the channel, get acquainted with it, come yeah. back and see her on a I hope you don't cry better. much. We'll try to keep that down to a minimum. Well, well. you know, it's good to feel. <laughs> It's good to have something. You're there, alive if you feel. There you go, guys. You're hearing it first here. And uh, hello to all who are in and to those few who are in the chat and not hiding again. <laughs> um, and uh, hello to Patsy, who was in here first That's as right. our special guest. And special uh, welcome from Patsy in the chat. Good Panic D videos. Uh, Hashtag Blue Ranch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hosier, Miss Kathy, just seen you over at uh, Corn Life Network's uh, stream. So thank you for uh, coming over here after uh, Rick finished his stream. Uh, thank you, Kathy. Feeling a little bit better, but I can just push the button and say, start and finish. Mm -hmm. And now I press start, and in two hours, I'm going to press finish. That doesn't work for talking. Yeah, not for talking though. Mm -hmm. no. Uh logons, coins, and cards. Oh, cool. Uh yes. David sent you. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you for coming in. Yes, we really do appreciate it. Welcome to the club. Uh James in. Hello. Oh, Eric the Red. Hello. Uh well, hello, hello. And for those few of you who are still hiding, also hello and good evening and welcome to our date night. And tonight, once again, for anybody who's just joined, or if you haven't seen the preview video. How could you not have a great time when your guest is Patsy Hulan? Yes, exactly. I, I, I don't think it's impossible. No, it's impossible. That's yeah. why I'm ready for everything. I hope you are too. I, I can actually people... hear Kathy laughing right now. Because nobody cracks us up, Kathy and I, like Patsy. <laughs> and when the two of us are together, it's just, uh, uh, oh, my God. We just. Well, Kathy, uh, yeah. uh, Katsy, Katsy, I even joined you guys together, Patsy and Kathy. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought it was some, like, Latvian yeah, translation. Katsy. for <laughs> Kathy, uh, did she say she's going to uh, crack open a beer today? Or she said two maybe or two. Or three. Well, I you don't know when she gets going. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kathy likes to pound them back when she gets going there. I yeah. think crunch on the head, throw them down, uh, pound them out. And, you know, let, let me see the future. I think uh, maybe the first half of it would be fairly family friendly, but I can see it going places <laughs> where. We'll try to keep it under wraps church. tonight. Yeah, keep it from going too far off the rails. I mean, uh, hello, Philip yeah. Cochran. Hi, the Swedes. And Angel yeah. Dominique is in too. Uh, um, Logan, uh, coins and cards. Uh, definitely get to know people in here. We don't discourage against it, but uh, please, like, 
just let it happen and everybody's good in here and they're gonna uh, they're gonna check you out and stuff like that check them out we don't have many rules here you'll notice everybody is um, uh, that's been here a couple of times as a mod and that's the reason why is because we all kind of police each other so no hard feelings and just hang out with the group and I'm sure people are gonna definitely check you out so um, mm. yeah mm. Uh, thank you, yeah, for those of you who tweeted it out. If you haven't yet, push that button, share it out. Uh, the more the merrier. Yep. Uh, and, if you're... Oh. and there's my reminder once again that I forgot to shut off my And phone. if you're too lazy to do that, just go over to our Twitter page, at Pusha Studios, and retweet our tweet about this amazing live stream, right? The more the merrier. And if you don't want to do it, well, just mm. don't. Forget about it and just hang out. Maybe you can push that like button though. That's yeah. that's just right to the left side or yeah. below. You'll find it. Um, yeah. The sweets are here, and I like your channel. I was just going to look right now because I bet you five bucks what's happened. You guys are actually really funny. I get a kick out of your channel. Um, let's see. And there we go. Once again, as per usual. So once again, I'm going to click that red button. I'm going to click that bell. And let's hope we can see some more videos from you. I like your work. Uh, this natural journey. Yeah. Hello, hello, our New Zealand friends mm. uh, and our future guests uh, in uh, hmm, nine, eight days. That's I right. Think. Yeah. Somewhere around there. I don't know the schedule. You know. I think it's next uh, Friday. <clears throat> um, correct me if I'm wrong. Beauty and the Bird. Hello, hello. Welcome, Colorado Martinis in. Good evening. Uh, well, I would love to have Martini now. You know, your kids are always had something to eat in the living room. When you put your foot down, you feel the nice, warm, cool, a uh, nice, cool feeling of lettuce under your feet. Oh, you don't <laughs> want to tell them about that. <laughs> no, well, we do. We go around cleaning this place what every is day. This? It was supposed to be my calendar. I don't know. Here. That's what I'm saying. So, see, guys, we lost everybody. Calendar. There was a big Where protest in the <laughs> Well, anyway, I will have to know it by heart now. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Friday. So. <laughs> no, I just meant we could talk about if you quickly mention some of the ones that are going to be on. So. Well, uh, yeah, this Friday, tomorrow, you're going to have uh, Mr. Hosier on. <laughs> and uh, this Saturday, we are going to have amazing uh, two guests. Uh, I'm going to have a special edition um, dedicated to raise awareness uh, to hashtag millions missing um, in uh, uh, collaboration together with two amazing girls, uh, at Twitter and Instagram Maven Queens. Uh, one of them is a little bit part of the YouTube community. The other one actually doesn't have a YouTube channel. She's just a yep. pretty good uh, on, uh, on Instagram, but they both have um, uh, one or a couple chronic uh, illnesses uh, as uh, well as uh, caregivers yeah. for yeah. others that are involved in it. So we're going to be chatting about that and also uh, educating people with um, collaboration within uh, um, National Fibromyalgia uh, Agency and National Invisible Illnesses Agency and also Montreal Pain Clinic uh, has uh, given uh, their permission uh, to uh show some materials uh so uh i i really will enjoy that and hopefully at the end we'll put some uh, uh fun spin to that as well and of course interact with the community so that's saturday 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 i don't get invited Easter. to these ones anything that's the uh the real mccoy i'm told to go and uh yeah, well, that's called a special edition. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> I'm set on a treasure hunt for that night. Yeah, I think it's going to be lots of fun and also get to know other people yeah. outside of uh, YouTube. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. And then, uh, uh, well, we have, I know, next week we have Geeks On. Yep. Uh, I know yesterday you went on their live stream. <laughs> yeah, that was something else. <laughs> they're, they're so amazing, those guys. Yeah. Girls, those ladies, excuse me. They are funny. They, 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 they just... All I heard uh, is a lot of fluff uh, <laughs> coming out of the room, and I figured he was watching something, and there they he was watching geeks. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, and then uh, we have uh, our New Zealand friends on Friday. Oh, uh, they uh. are gonna have it on Saturday. It's gonna be their Saturday or Friday, mm. uh, and uh, Trailer Park Guy is gonna be on Wednesday. That's gonna be very interesting. Yeah. And uh, if you liked our uh, Fur Burger Guy, <laughs> uh, this is a little bit 
different. But if you like that, you will like this. Yeah. Uh, and on Monday, we have Artem Artifica. That's going to be really on, cool. Uh, We're so glad he's yeah, coming. Yeah, so looking forward to talking with him. He's an amazing photographer, musician, too. But I'm so interested in his uh, new street photography series uh, and talking about that. Um, um, yeah. And then next week, we have a uh, full of amazing guests, too. We're starting to book into June. Uh, so if you want to be on, uh, shoot us a DM message. Yeah. Uh, that's the way, best way. Because we're booked right, right into June, right? Well, we're starting to book into June. Yeah, uh, there is few dates left in me, but uh, uh, but um, June is the one that mm -hmm. I'm looking at now to be booked in. So let's do a little call here. We have Angel Dominique. Good to have you. Thank you so much for coming. Beauty and the Burr. Excellent as always. Bron, next, welcome. Good to have you. I don't know why I talked like that. <laughs> Colorado Martini, love your channel. So good to have you. Eric the Red RC, my man. Thank you for coming. I was just thinking about you a couple hours ago. I was just about to go over your channel. I went, uh, uh, message me if there's anything new up as well, but I'll definitely go check. None the same. Nonetheless, holy, oh my God. I got to get hooked on phonics. Like, I got to go right back to the basics again. Like, Who's your back, OD? As we said tomorrow night, that will be our guest, and it's going to be great to have him here. Welcome to the channel. James Cox, once again, thank you so much for coming. Awesome to have you. Kevin Kleinberg, good to have you. We were just talking this afternoon. How does the climbing go today? He was trying to make a video, but he was uh, not sure if he was going to record it or not. Uh, he was going to do some live climbing. Oh, cool. like you said, we were talking about that about real life. You know, comes first before YouTube, and he was uh, he was because it kind of bummed out that he went climbing and didn't have a chance, or that, or do some editing. Logan coins and cards, like I said, oh, good to have you here. I'm glad UP sent you. No, I like I said once again, I don't have any coins. Actually, I just inherited a house, and supposedly there's a coin and stamp collection <laughs> there. I don't think it's too much, but I'm curious to see what there is. So we I'll have some there. really old coins uh, from USSR times. I yes. remember my uh, stepfather uh, gave you an old paper ruble uh, that is huge. It is like, it's gigantic. It's one ruble, but it's like this big. And it's, I think it's from the beginning of last century. I yeah. forget. Yeah. Uh, it's it's quite interesting. It's I, quite. Uh, it's a really great gift. Those are one of those things that's, you know, more than what it would be worth monetary. Oh, it's yeah. I don't know. So even, cool. It's uh, a part of history. <laughs> Miss Kathy, I knew it'd be in here. I'm gonna have a good laugh tonight, I'm sure. I see she's already off to a good start. Panic D videos, awesome guys. Our guests the other night, the ones that helped us knock out the lights in Montreal. If you don't believe us, go back and see the end of the first part of the video we did with them. The interview, it was amazing. One of the weirdest coincidences. I call it coincidence. They think he thinks it's paranormal. I think his wife thinks it's coincidence, and Xenia. I think thinks it was real. Something I don't know. <laughs> well, it was weird, uh, yeah. definitely. No matter you believe or not, it yeah. definitely was weird. Uh. <laughs> Scrumptious model trains. Good to have you here. As always, love having you here, Terrell. Hey, what's the show without Terrell? Oh yes, yes, for sure. That's, we're gonna call her Mother Mod because she was the first mod, <laughs> the first female mod. That was train man. Yeah, our train man has disappeared. Train Maybe man's gone got grounded. Of, yeah, you're, 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 <laughs> for gone the end to parts of the year. unknown. The yeah. Good Cell Life, unbelievable channel too. Yes. Guys, we're filling up uh, Good Cell Life. Uh, if you can get in contact with us, because we definitely want to have you on. So love your channel. This Natural Journey will also will be on. Love you guys. Love your content. Ultimate Spike. Hey, what more could you ask for? Good to have you all here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um. Welcome. Yeah, and I hope you guys that you have had a good day. Uh, um, some of you have the ending of the day and evening. Some of us or oh, you guys right. are on the next side, other side of the world, or on the next day already. Um, but uh, thank you for joining, uh, no matter where you are, even if you are at work and maybe sneaking through. Uh, <laughs> just don't get caught. <laughs> We do not want anybody getting in trouble over us. <laughs> no, that's right. Um, you meet the coolest channels on here. Ah, I are sweet, Miss Kathy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, mm -hmm. Now we'll have to copy that one. You know, guys, we sometimes tweet out uh, the comments that you guys leave in the chat uh, or in the comments section. 
um, for uh, yes. other people to enjoy them too. Yes, James, I did say welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> I'd give you an answer if I had one, but just seem to be in the moment. <laughs> uh, UP4204, thank you so much for sending Logan here. And I hope you're doing well. How's things today? <laughs> I think that stunned him the time when I thought I told him he was a logo. I thought it was a high heel shoe. I think that kind of <laughs> I'm glad he still comes back. Yeah, I know, uh, I yeah, know. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's hard to get the vision out of the head once it's there embedded. <laughs> That was funny. Uh, that yes. was really funny. Oh my god, almighty. You guys are so funny. Uh, well, let me check well, uh, where our guest is at. Mm -hmm. um, As our guest said that they couldn't do four hours, and I'm like, uh, we, yeah, we, we, uh, well, we can't do neither <laughs> no. uh, today. That's for sure. That tends to be more of a. How are you doing, the Swedes? It's good to have you here. I, I, like I say, I like your content once again. It's it's got a real quirkiness to it, and that it's real. It's really good. So that's uh, Tracy's here. Welcome, Tracy. Good to have you. As always, the better half of ATGH travels. Do I say? Do I dare? <laughs> I don't is there know. such a thing as better hop? Nah, they're amazing. They're an amazing duo. I love that you guys come on on the server guns so you can both participate. I think that's so amazing. <laughs> I love having you here. I love having all of you here. You guys are an unbelievable group. Blue wrench for the Swedes. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Usually it's two to three times here before we give one, but you know what? Since Hosier uh, raised the flags, you know what? All right. Blue swag, blue, uh, blue wrenches for all. There you go. Add monitor. There you go, Swedes. Consider it like knighthood for our channel. Yeah, what about Logan's? Oh, Logan's? Oh, my God. Oh, my. There we go. Oh. Are you okay? I think I will have to check live. Yeah, go see. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter just. Yeah. Oh, you guys heard that. Oh. Oh. Um, so, uh, okay, I guess she's okay because anyone tell me. Sorry. Uh, I couldn't miss the stream this one. UP4204, I just noticed I'm a moderator. When did that happen? That happened a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know when, but it wasn't t yesterday, that's for sure. So, um, so uh, sorry. Hi, is she okay? Yeah, I think she's okay. It's just poor Audrey. Sometimes she's got two left feet. So if it was bad, you'd still be hearing it. So sorry about that, guys. Um, so many great channels in here. I mean, what an honor. You guys make this place so amazing. Truly appreciate all having all of you here and participating with each other. So, yeah, we're going to have a great show tonight. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, I'm sure, lots of laughs. Patsy, there's just something about the, I don't know, I, I can't keep it together, so I'm I'm wondering uh, I'm wondering how long I'll hold out, but I'm going to try to give it my best and try to make this look semi-professional. Trumpet sounds? Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, you mean for getting them on? Okay, because I was going to say my phone. I thought you meant when it keeps going off, it's finally on mute. I was good at it at the beginning, and now I always forget about it until at least it goes off once. <laughs> Mm. Wow, is that hot? Ha, huh, that's better. Let's see. I have to do the old usual steam test. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I know, Kathy. I know. I know. And like I said, even though I can't see you right now, I can feel the energy, believe me. So <laughs> I picture lots of awkward pauses and stuff like that going on, so it's going to be interesting. Oh. 
Wow. You professional life. Yeah, exactly. That's right. <laughs> 100. Oh, yeah, I guess that would. Oh, well, that's actually kind of cool. There you go. She okay? Yeah, that was a earthquake. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. That's why I wasn't sure for a second. I'm um, really the one uh, tripped on a carpet, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I said something. She has two left feet. <laughs> Oh God, lover. So I'm back, and uh, our daughter is fine. So yeah, she's fine. She's fine. Uh, just <laughs> had to check it out because it, I, 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 I think they heard it too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, no, no, yeah, she's no, fine. No. It was just on a carpet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have like um, this hallway which goes in an L, and oftentimes when they run, which they we usually say don't run, but they still run. When they run, they forget to slow down on that turn, so they're like cars. They just can't. Yeah. <laughs> they can't manage to get through that turn and fall. Like, I mean, <laughs> numerous falls from both of them there because they just uh. can't slow down. <laughs> and you can't cut the corner of the walls either, right? Yes. So I don't know what they're saying. You're right, Hosier, because that's what goes in your head every time. Once you know it's not like life threatening or anything like that, it's like, oh, please, not a trip to the ER. Tonight. Yeah, it's especially like... here, because <laughs> if here in, in Quebec, in ER, you have to wait sometimes like nine, <laughs> ten, and more hours. I remember one of the times when we went to with I, I'll tell this tell you guys the story. I don't know if you're interested, but I'll tell you anyway. About <laughs> there Quebec, you go. <laughs> Quebec Health System. Um it was the longest time I, I spent with Audrey in the emergency, and uh, uh, it's it's not unusual, so to say. Uh, we went to the dentist, um, and they were pulling, well, they were uh, doing some teeth work, and one of her tooth was very wiggly in the front because it was uh, time for it to come out, but it wasn't there yet, so the doctor said, well, I asked him, do you want me to pull it out, you know, or is it okay to pull it out before you do the repair work? No, no, it's okay. So they continued on to fix her tooth, the other one in the back. And uh, once they took out the mouse guard, uh, they realized that the tooth that was wiggling is not there anymore. Where it is, nobody can find it. And the two nurses came, the doctor came, like they couldn't find the tooth. They figured it's in, like she either swallowed it or it's in her lung, okay? A tooth in a lung. Never heard about that before, but they were fairly concerned. They put the, uh, they called the emergency room. You gotta go there. They're gonna look after you. <laughs> you gotta do an X-ray to see if the tooth is inside the lung. So we went to uh, emergency for uh, the children's hospital, and um, well, ended up we were there for twenty-two hours before they told us that it was all fine. They did the x-ray, uh, I think after two hours of waiting, and then it uh, took them 20 hours to get anybody to look at the x-ray. So we spent 22 hours in the emergency room. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, not unusual. So no, unless it's something really, really badly, although even then, you're still gonna <laughs> have to wait for hours. <laughs> That's right. You don't want to get in the emergency room in Montreal or in Quebec in general. So better go over the border. And some people do. Some people go to Ontario. Some people go to over the border if they can, if they have insurance and uh, because it's so close. Because <laughs> it's going to take less time to drive over the border and get there. Yes. <laughs> but some, here. And sometimes, too. But sometimes they also have some awful overcrowding crowding as well into it. It's, but, yeah, in Quebec it is hard right now. There was a lot of cutbacks and no for sure for sure but uh that's the situation here so every time i see somebody saying emergency see like, 10 15 well even like especially like 15 years ago before baby boomer really started to uh you know go into <laughs> retirement uh, a lot of people don't know this but probably the most sought after document in north america was actually a quebec health care card even more than a passport on the black market because there was no id onto it at the time and it opened you up because in Quebec, all healthcare is free. And also your uh, drugs uh, plans were free, basically. Most drugs are covered under the government. So here in Quebec, for instance, which is still not bad compared to a lot of other places, uh, if you don't have a drug plan through your work, you automatically go through your in, your uh, the government one. And kids up until 18, or if they do continue education to 25, uh, they get their drugs 100% free coverage as long as it's uh, selected by the Quebec government. 
and uh, for adults, uh, you pay, uh, they pay 80%. So if you own your own business or anything like we do, and that, that is though a good thing because we don't have to worry that we don't have a drug plan. We're automatically covered. Yeah, and thank you, Miss Kathy. I seen your mm -hmm. comment about the sexy voice part. Uh, yes, I think I'm, I'm getting a call. And also, allergy season is in full bloom, literally here. Mm -hmm. Like everything is in bloom at the same time because spring came so late. So um, I have a little bit of that too. <laughs> Are you doing something? Well, like Miss Kathy or said. Or Ms. I Kathy seen said, that. I answered yes. her. Well, and in I case knew. you didn't see that, yeah. I wanted to reiterate. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, um, yeah, uh, so that's our health system and moving on uh, and fingers crossed nobody ever have to I do sent that. the link to Patsy, so, oh, JJ just popping in, how are you, are you at work, are you uh, working tonight? Is there any VAT in Canada? No, uh, it's a sales tax. Uh, there's a 5%. Uh, no, it's a GST is no. What is GST now? There are two Five. different taxes. Yeah, your federal tax is your GST. And I believe, I can't believe I forgot this now, of owning a business and everything. I just have a stage fright. THC. Yeah, yeah, but the, not THC, not the learning channel. <laughs> <laughs> TLC slice <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> history and discovery. There are two different taxes. If you're interested, yeah. you can check. The and they vary from province to yeah, province, exactly. except for Alberta. Alberta only has one tax federal because they had an oil plan, an oil fund set up where all the oil companies, there was a percentage for everything they drilled, went into the province. So <clears> therefore, <throat> they didn't need it. But that's talked about being changed now because, of course, the tar the oil sands are going to be. Uh, I've slowed down a lot, so I don't know how that will work out. JJ, hi. Uh, you're going to be driving. Well, drive safe uh, and waiting for some good tunes. If Patsy's listening, I sent you the link, Patsy. It's in uh, Twitter. Yeah, uh, James, uh, in Latvia, the, the tax on merchandise like is 23%. Um, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Everything is plus. It used to be 18, uh, like 10 years ago, and then they decided to up it even higher. So now it's 23. Uh, that's European Union to you, but. <laughs> yeah. Like in uh, Quebec, we're paying what, 14? 14. 14. Uh, oh, I think we have somebody visiting. In, in, in Quebec. Hello, do we have a visitor there? Hello, hello. Oh. Mm. Somebody's there. Somebody's lurking. Hello. 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 How are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear you well? Great. Welcome. We can hear you, but now we can't see you. Are you hiding? Oh. Or? Wait, I have to. I have to get rid of your volume or something. Oh, you can pause if you have the stream running. Just pause the video for the stream, and that way the chat keeps rolling. But you okay, might... is, that, is that better? Sounds good to us. Okay, I'm coming. I got to get ready. Oh, God. <laughs> Andrew's dying already. I can't see anything. Oh, no. Oh, you, you can't. You can't see us? I can't see me. Oh, you can't see you. Uh, do you have the Hangouts video open, though, that that you clicked on the link? That one, you have to, you can let the video run. It's only if it's in the, the one that you were originally watching. That one you have to pause. Oh, you, what the, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a joke. <laughs> oh my <sighs> god. Oh my god, that was funny. Oh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so I've got a delay on the picture. How do I make the picture not delay? You gotta watch us through the hangouts, not through the YouTube. Yeah, uh, I, I thought I was. 
Let's see. Here we go. What's that? Okay, I see you guys. Are you sitting there? What's going on? Hey, what's happening? How are you today? So great to uh, see you. Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. Excellent. <laughs> Perfect. It's so great to have you here. It's been a while since we've been together on the screen. Oh, so if I push that button, I'm on the P I'm on there. And then if I push that, you're on there. I, yeah. I think the reactor to the sound right now. It uh, whoever is talking, it uh, it will jump back and it, forth. Yeah. Okay. That will make it well, easy. Thank you for asking me to be on the your program. It's kind of last minute, but um. Well, we thank you. I know you probably have a lot of stuff to do, and it was short notice, but we're yeah. really honored that you could do it. Yes, we spent the whole day getting the background ready. Well, it looks amazing. Do you have a crew with you that help you? Yes, our whole staff was working hard. Well, well. <laughs> Who do you have in the background? I noticed there is a man there. Oh, That's Charlie McCarthy. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> He's just sitting there. He's just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, he looks very happy to be there. And those are some of our masks up there. That's so cool. And that's a fake snake up there. Looks pretty real. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure it's fake? Yeah. Or, or is that another surprise for us later to jump at the screen? <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's happening? Well, not too much. I mean, you know, it's not often we get a celebrity like you, so I've been looking forward to this for a while. I'm really glad, once again, it was really nice to you that the last minute they will agree to come on with us. So, Well, sometimes you just got to take one for the team. Well, that's right. And, I mean, we yeah. couldn't be more honored to have you here. Is my volume good enough? Am I loud enough? Oh, you are perfect. perfect. You look beautiful, and, and you sound amazing. Oh, you, you really you really are the whole package, aren't you? Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I think you can do it all. You you sing. Am, am I not right? Well, no. Millie sings. I said I sing a talk, t tune or two, but not, not like Millie. She's the good one. Oh, well, I don't know. I think you got lots of qualities of your own, and you had a decent voice, if I remember right, when you did sing. La, 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 la. Well, that's just mm, that's see, gorgeous. Amazing. <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a yeah. lovely little... I'm sure the requests are going to start pouring in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, did you watch my Mother's Day video? That is going to be afterwards because we had some uh, things going me, on here today. Let me see it now. We can show a I tiny, tiny clip without the sound just to give people a teaser. I actually just posted a link to uh, Patsy's oh. YouTube channel Oh, there we uh, go. for you guys who want to <coughs> uh, go and follow uh, or check out the newest videos. In the meantime, would you like to kind of tell us a little bit about yourself? Because there's a few in here tonight that maybe haven't seen your channel yes. before. And just to kind of give them a bit of a, a feel of what you do on your channel. Well, our channel is mostly comedy, but there's serious messages in almost everything we do. It just sort of happens that way. We don't, we have a rough idea of what we're going to do and it sort of creates itself. And of course, you never know what I'm going to come up with. So that's that's all good points. I mean, it is it is true. I like that there is some spontaneity in your act because that kind of gives the genuineness to it. <clears throat> well, people think that because I'm a puppet, that somebody else is controlling me. But once I get in there, it's nobody's controlling me anymore. It's nope. kind of creepy, actually. It's strings detached. <laughs> yes, we worked. We made sure that was taken care of today. Jeez. Are you okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think Andrew is mostly going to be just quietly laughing. There. <laughs> Andrew, know. are you okay? I'm not sure anymore. You know, guys, we were talking about emergency room. I think yeah. that by the end of this, I'll have to call emergency for Andrew because... 
Am I making Andy feel uncomfortable? No, 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 no. You're good. No, you know, I think I, he I, gets yeah. shy before yeah. you. Like he gets uh, all uh, shy. Yeah, you just can't. He loses his voice. Like yeah. his abilities are no. starting to recede. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the most size of I'm wow. such a fan of yours, Patsy. I know. I know. And I, we've always had such a great time whenever we're on the panels or anything like that. And you always find this way. It's almost sometimes it says you're so funny when you're 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 doing your act and you're so funny when you're not saying anything at the same time. It's unbelievable. I love it. It's a really it's a really great package, the whole the whole thing of that you do. Anyway, <laughs> bye. Bye. You go ahead. Okay. Well, it depends on how far you want to go back. Um, I started my career way back in the late 70s. I was in a play, a church play. And uh, what? I belonged, I, I belonged to a little girl, 12-year-old little girl. And the director of the play asked if, I could be in the play. Then after the play, he bought me for five dollars. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that's now so I'm cool. a collectible. <laughs> You're one of a kind. Well, there's a couple other. There's more, but you gotta. You You'll know. never be like you, Patsy. No, not at all. That's a guarantee. You are one of a kind that way. Then in the '80s, I made a movie, two-hour movie. And um, on video, so we're trying to trying to edit it out and put it on YouTube, but it's a big job. I can imagine. It was all people, and I was the only puppet. Really? Mm hmm There's a trailer trailer for it on my channel. It's called Strangers in My Auntie's House, and that's what I was known for for a long time. Oh my God! You see, I always to be, I, and I feel bad with it now. I always thought that was kind of like, like the joke about it being the trailer. So there was an actual movie. That that was no joke. There was an actual. Yeah, but it just is. Yeah, it needs a lot of editing, and picture quality isn't that great. But we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, but still, though, I mean, that, one, that even just to put it together must have been a huge challenge. You don't know it. How long did it take? <laughs> Um, probably almost two years. Wow. Can you, I found that really interesting. Can you tell us a little bit more about the whole process behind it? Like where it came, like the idea came from and anything you can tell us about putting it together? Well, it started because this was back when, um, hardly anybody even had a video camera. Yeah. And my director had a friend who had one and he said, why don't you borrow this and make a movie because you're creative. So he hijacked the guy's camera for two years. Okay. And I had been um, in a box somewhere. So um, he decided to pull me out and he started to film me in the middle of the movie. We just started to film a scene where I hear somebody in the shower Oh. And I grab, I grab a knife, and I go and open up the shower, and there's a man in there. So then we built the movie around that. And then he had to bribe his friends to be in the movie, and they were all embarrassed after it was done. <laughs> Andy. Yes. What's going on? I don't know anymore. I don't even. I wonder sometimes so what funny. kind of emotions is it triggering oh him every time God. he sees you? Because that's uh, he only oh. reacts this way to you, and uh, <laughs> I, I, I really. <laughs> I, I'm sure you do it to him too. <laughs> Not that way. <laughs> It's so weird. I just, it's, it's I don't so know. interesting to watch. I'm so mesmerized <laughs> and I'm so like lost and I don't know. This is, usually doesn't happen to me. But is, is anybody else watching this? Oh yeah, you got lots of people here. Actually, it's a good crowd. So we're uh, in the twenties. Yeah. 
Everybody's enjoying it. How could they not enjoy you, Patsy? It's impossible. Oh, everybody was so excited to see you. Yeah. Once we, uh, yeah for, that, that we said that you were wow. And I think, uh, you know, it's always fun. It's always an entertainment when you, whenever you uh -huh. are. And people just follow yeah. <laughs> your name. And, and like, once again, like, on the side, I'm sorry, I got tears <laughs> in my eyes. I love about hearing about that movie because I always thought, I know what you're talking about now, and I always thought that was kind of the joke was making a big movie. I didn't realize it was actually a movie that went with it. I, that amazes me. So, yes. How how is the editing coming along? I know you said it's a big job. Uh, are you are you still planning to see it through and put it out? Yeah, but every time we start, it's just such a long process. Yeah, and it's it's two hours. You said two hours. So we're gonna try to get it down to at least one hour. Even so, that is a lot of work for sure. A lot, yeah, a lot of work. And uh, two of the actors in it are dead. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's how long ago that was. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but it's a great mm -hmm. way to immortalize them. I mean, in a movie with you. It's funny because they both died in the movie, too. Are you serious? Yeah. But a lot of people died in the movie. <laughs> it's a murder mystery. <laughs> I knew the knife, but it's, I think it just those were the two main ones that went. <laughs> I don't know if she turns my brain to mush. I came and asked decent. Yeah, I right just uh, I don't know. Like you gotta I, help you're, me. You're or... part of the entertainment too. I think here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> my goodness, uh, we have a uh, Miss Kathy was asking uh, for you to tell a Millie story. What kind of Millie story? I don't know. One about uh, didn't did Millie go to jail? <laughs> no, 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 no. Millie, um, we started the show, and um, in season one, I think it was season one, when Whitney Houston died, we found out that Millie was taking prescription drugs. <laughs> oh no, that's in that's in um that's in our. our Whitney Houston tribute, and uh, so we had to send her to rehab, and af after that, she got out, and she started getting into a lot of bad relationships, you know, one bad puppet after another, you know how it goes, and um, getting herself into all kinds of trouble, so uh, we had to send her to relationship therapy. Right. Then um, we made the mistake of doing a, a video about bath salts, and uh -huh. she, volu she volunteered to try some so we could do an experiment to see what they would do. She, um, she ate the cat. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and did she put it after in a microwave or the dryer to get it dry? No, she swallowed the whole darn thing. <gasps> but not really, not really. That was just a video. <laughs> so what happened in the reality? <laughs> well, well, you know, so that anyway, so it's it's just been rough, and but now yeah. she's doing good. She so yeah. then then she um she started going to a black church. Uh -huh. so and, good. Uh, that's the video too, our goth yeah. video, and she started a relationship with the uh, night watchman. And really? it turned, yeah, but it turned out he was a vampire. Ooh. So yes. in in the goth episode, um, you'll have to watch it because something bad happens to the vampire. And, um, you know, just bad relationships. Uh, are you planning <laughs> on do uh, any videos on her trying the Tide Pod? Tripod? No, Tide it, Pod. Eating those Tide Pods. No. That no, that would be mean. That's right. I'm not going to promote no. that. I'll let Miss Kathy do that with her daughter. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, kiddies, now it's time to bed. We're turning to the other side of our show. <laughs> oh, oh my god, they're oh casting for your questions. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
Uh, <laughs> there are some other questions from Kathy too, but now I'm afraid <laughs> to ask. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, oh, she wants to know about my cast. <laughs> yes, uh, but I'm afraid to ask now because she said that before you, uh, you said what you said. And oh now, my god, oh my god. Now I don't know if it's, uh, if it's uh, okay. Wow. Oh my well, god, that was funny. Um, we started out with just me and Millie when we did the show because we, we were leftover church puppets from the church days. And, um, um, then we, um, we found my long lost little sister on eBay and we got her. So she's on our shows too. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Look who's here. Who's Hi that? little girl. How are you? Very good. I was, I was hurt my leg and then I was, sad. did you hurt your leg? Yeah. Yeah, when you talk about it, it makes you sad again, doesn't it? I slip in the hallway. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah say good night to everybody. Yeah. See you both you both have a great love of theater as you can see. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of drama queens on YouTube lately. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. that's yeah. a good night, baby. Okay. Sorry about, about that. that. Yeah. She likes, uh, ever since we tried her in front of camera, now she likes popping in. So sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. So you were saying, uh, you were saying that you were uh, from church puppets. You were put together. Put together? What do you mean put together? Like whole crew was put together. Asom ensemble. Yeah. Not fabricated, an ensemble. Um, I don't, I don't understand the question. Yeah, I don't quite get what you're asking. I you. was trying to get back to the question that we were talking about. <laughs> we don't understand. We're still lost. So. I think she's asking about the cast of the show now. That's what I think she might be talking yes, about. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> you get a cookie for that answer, Patsy. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that's exactly what I was asking. So am I supposed to press the U button every time I speak? No, oh. it's going to just switch automatically to you as soon as you talk. Oh, okay, because I've only seen you most of the time. That's okay. Oh, um, no, jumping to you all the time. We're watching it right here. It's splitting between. See, when you talk. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So um, the cast is, well, there's a lot of us, really. There's, uh, there's my sister. There's Kluki. There's Auntie, who's in our Mother's Day video. And... Um, there's Auntie's son, Neil. He's a knee puppet. Um, and um, there's Charlie McCarthy. There's Jeremiah. He's a blue indigo American. Um, indigo American? Yeah, that's blue. Means blue. 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 You got it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so anyway, and um, we have random other. Oh, we've got um, about three, four years ago when after season one we were going to quit because nobody was watching us, and this guy from Columbia who does, um, he does Christian TV with puppets. He said, keep going, keep going. It takes two years and you'll be a big hit. Well, of course that didn't happen, but we kept going and he actually sent us a puppet and okay. that's Arthur Philip Stevens. So, and where, where, do they, where do they all get their names from? Like they're very creative names, most of them. Well, Philip Stevens is the guy who sent us the puppet. So we, Named his puppet Arthur Philip Stevens. Okay, well, that's a good tribute. That's a good way to say yeah. thank you for it. That's cool. And, um, and I don't know. We're, we are this are our, what we were named. Kluki Martinez is Kluki Martinez. Um, and we did, very, 
and for personalities between them like uh what's it like the does every puppet like st start off finding their personality or does some puppets just come with a personality automatically <laughs> Well, they sort of kind of developed, I think. Um, I've always had this personality. As I, this has always been me. As yeah. soon as I open my mouth, this is what, what happens. But, um, and, um, um, let's see, did I leave anybody out? Um, we've made a couple puppets, so that's, that's true. That's very um, cool. Yeah. It must be a lot of work. Well, you know, we just sort of throw together what's laying around the house. Everything we've, pretty much everything we do, we got laying around the house or the dollar store or somebody sends us a puppet or something like that. By the way, there is the Swedes in the chat that would like to send you a puppet. Where, what should they do or where to contact you if they would like to send you a puppet? I guess through Twitter. Okay, I'll post a link to Twitter in the chat. Thank you. Who was that? The Swedes. Oh. Do they make puppets? Uh, uh, no. I'm not sure. They actually were asking about the uh, vlogger, Timmy the vlogger puppets, if you watch have watched that. And I don't know if there's any connection with it. Have you ever seen them before? Who? Timmy the vlogger. Puppet. I've seen blogger puppets. It's a really weird channel. He makes puppets out of everything. Ooh. That's cool. It's a it's an art form all into its own, I would say. Yeah, we'll take it, we'll use it, we'll do it. That's very cool. See? Always making new connections. That's good. Well, you're that type of girl, Patsy, that always catches everybody's eye. I'm we sure love you guys that send you gifts. Yes, we love masks and we love puppets. You, uh, uh, oh God, I don't know. You have this magical effect on me. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, there are it. also people are, uh, what, uh, my question was, what kind of content do you like uh, creating the most? Like, what kind of videos do you like making? Well, we like to make people laugh, but we like to make people think. Mm. So... And we really do like drama, too. If you saw our video, The Power of Good, it's probably one of our most artistic pieces. And um, we have people in masks as well as puppets. And it has a message where somebody wants to come in and shoot a place up. And it's... Um, but it, it's serious. It, has, it, it ends well. It ends really well. Yeah, and that's why I was asking, because I think your videos are quite diverse in the range of emotions. Like I was saying uh, at the start, you know, about laughing and, and crying at the same time, which actually was taken from your own description of your channel. Uh, but I do agree and see where it's at, because yeah. some, some subjects of your videos um, or themes are quite serious and quite political, I must even say. And and some of them are, are really hilarious and fun. Yeah. So I just wondered if there is some uh, that you prefer more, or is, is the purpose the the far more purpose of the channel for you personally is to to have that message in it. Well, when we started out, every episode had a message, and um, then we just started to do whatever came, and. Um, but they always seem to come out with a message in some form, mm -hmm. but kind of like not the way you would think, you know? Like, some people would be offended by stuff, but we get away with it because of puppets. Do you think it uh, it's easier for people to understand the message yeah. if it's... Uh, to uh, relate. Yeah, to relate. Uh, if it's uh, m like... Coming, talk talked uh, by puppets instead of uh, coming humans? from you versus like a human yeah. uh, story. Yeah, I do. Uh, what about with uh, with? Because I always believe that children, but I think like you're proof that there's a bit of children in all of us, and I really think that helps build the connection as well. 
and gives you more of a forum to say the things that you feel because people can connect more to that reason. It's a, a little more inviting, I guess, to watch, especially in YouTube because, I mean, as an adult, it'd be hard for a 50-year-old man to say, I want, you know, a lot of puppet shows, they'd feel probably um, uh, a stigma to going towards, but at least in YouTube, they can sit on, and you make it more than just being a puppet show, you actually make it into a cinematic event, like you say. Lots of editing, casting characters, and that. Was that your whole goal, was to try and reach people? Yeah. Yeah, but mostly to make them laugh, and... Um... And and I don't know, I guess because we have a church background, sort of like a morality comes into stuff. We decided we decided early on that we would ride the edge but never go off the edge. Because we just because we're puppets, we wanted to um remain child friendly if mm -hmm. children found us. Yeah, that's quite that's nice like that. I, and oh we got a visitor. Oh, God. Oh, go away. We used that on, um, we used that on A Hungry Witch or one of our Halloween shows. Do you think that, if we asked, they'd come back on the screen again for a minute? What? Do you think if we asked nicely, it could come back on the screen for a minute? We just got a quick glimpse the last... Oh. And what's your name? I didn't think you would talk, but I thought I could trick you into saying something. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a try. I don't know. That's not even a, that's just a, that's not even real like I am. Oh, okay. Well, that was my mistake. That's, that's, I, that's all on me. My bad. So yeah, right. You're the one with the personality, girl. <laughs> yeah. My Kathy was saying, did Patsy get arms recently? I thought she did. Some well, it depends on um, what else we got going on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Angel wanted to, me to tell you a couple times, and and Miss Cassie agreed uh, that uh, you are their favorite YouTuber, <laughs> and you always make YouTube fun. And I can agree to that too. Yeah, no, that uh, hands I think down, lots of people point. can agree to yeah. that. Yeah, there's the hands. See? Yeah. <laughs> You were just you just were sitting back for a while, relaxing. Yes. Hello, Angel. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby, baby. <laughs> uh, how about the fashion choices? Um, Kathy. Uh, yes. Uh, also <laughs> noted that uh, you are in a fair, uh, fairly. Um, casual clothing today but sometimes i've seen you too in in fancy hats and clothes like from the latest magazine cover how do you choose that like that must be a hard thing to do sometimes well actually i need more clothes but we just pull from what we got um well i've been casual a lot lately because it's springtime and there's spring cleaning and all that stuff and you know when i was on that first uh long live stream that's when i was all dressed up i thought it was a formal event i didn't know well it was yeah so beautiful you were dressed to the gill. I think you were the only one that was right actually <laughs> we were underdressed and and you were right on that's how it should be Special events should require special dress up. That's right. Well, we'll see what happens when um, I'm going to be on Lady Bourget's show uh -huh. sometime. When is going to be that? Well, she's going to dress, she's going to make herself up to look like me. Oh, All right. That's going to be awesome. My God. So, like so you know, we got to plan that one out. That's going to be pretty awesome. That's interesting. Yeah, those oh. eyebrows are going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's cool you like uh, that with the women that all get out and everybody get dressed up night out do you mm -hmm. you like what? getting you like getting dressed up like going out with all the women all dressed up and everything as a group 
Not particularly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but it's, so you'd rather get dressed up and just stay at home and have a nice night in? I like the baseball cap and my overalls. That's your happiest. That's where you're at your, your yeah. good place. What is a day in the life of Patsy like? Let's start it off in the morning till bedtime. We'll just give us a quick run around. What is a normal day in the life of Patsy? Well, sometimes I watch a live stream and then go and maybe bake a cherry pie. That's right. Yeah. Which yeah. We, we were so honored to see in one of your videos that you were actually watching us with Best Friend in Your Thread. What? Oh, yeah. Um, Best Friend was here earlier, wasn't she? Yes, yep, she's in, yep, there, but she's, she's at work, so she can't hear us. Uh, she can only see the chat. She usually oh. checks the video out. Miss, Miss Kathy has a question. Ask what? when will her next adventure with Kooky? Yeah. It's Kooky, not Kooky. C L O O K I E K Y K Y. Clooky, Clooky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're... So, when is your next adventure with Clooky? I don't know. I don't know. You two look he... like you'd be a lot of trouble together. You get well, together. we do. We um, we um. Did you see the video? When we ended up in the Catholic um, retreat center. Jeez. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That was pretty scary. Oh, yeah, it was. It was, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, lots of adventures. You two get yourself in all kinds of stuff. We thought it was the Virgin Mary, but it was just some old crazy lady. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I could see how that could all happen. It was pretty, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's amazing how when you hook up with your friends and that everywhere that it takes you. You have a very adventurous life. Then there was the time that him and I ended up in the haunted elevator. That that's was one of, that's one of our videos. That was a scary one. Yeah. You look pretty nervous in that one. I well, didn't look to uh, try to put on a face, but I think it kind of spooked you a little. Yeah, that was scary. But and of scary. course, yeah, of course, the hungry witch was. Luki and my little sister played the roles of that one. It was kind of a Hansel and Gretel type of thing. That was really cool, though. Where the witch wanted to eat them. Are you inspired by real stories a lot? Do you feel like even original stuff, you feel sometimes you pick up little things from stories you've read or uh, movies you've seen, you always feel you can have a little bit of inspiration everywhere? Yeah, kind of anything that's in the mind of my director kind of comes out like a salad. <laughs> when we did our when I when we used to do the episodes the first four seasons they kind of continued like a soap opera so they sort of had like a storyline that continued that's a lot of work though to do a series yeah we did 10 10 episodes a season one a month that was a lot it is it a was, lot it's not enough to be viable on YouTube but if you want, if we wanted to keep the quality of what we did, we had to do it that way. I mean, I could just get on every day and just say blah blah blah, but I don't know if that would be the best thing for me. I don't know. Maybe it is. What do you think? I don't know. I think you could take on anything you want. I think you'd add your own personality to it. I I think the sky's the limit for you, to be honest. I, I think every video that you're making has a, a certain su substance to it. So I don't really think you could go and just say yep. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it, it, it would have something in it for sure. Even you saying the tech, literally blah, blah, blah would have more of a, a, a yeah. spice wow. to it. No, but I think it would have a certain, or maybe you could have a political talk show, for example. That would yeah, be fun. That would be or good. A circus. No, 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 no. I did the, I did, uh, the political stuff. And um, I thought that that might have been, uh, that could have been the death of me if I kept going that direction. And I understand that. Yeah, it, it is on, it's, it's a rabbit hole. Sometimes you go down that you sometimes regret. I get that. It's, we did. Uh, a, I don't know if you saw any of our singing toilet videos. Yeah, that's a dress up. Uh, some I want to try, seen that try on with uh, toilet paper rolls and on top. Oh. Oh. 
Oh yeah. yeah. There's three. There's three of them. There was. There's the our um our Christmas um classic now is I won't take crap for Christmas. <laughs> yes. Song, song by Sean Toilet, the singing toilet. And then, yeah. and then there he did. I'm upstairs and you're downstairs, where he sings to the toilet that used to be next to him in the department store before they were sold to the house. And now he was upstairs and she's downstairs. That's what I liked yeah. about that dress up with the toilet paper. It's so easy to do. And I, I when I saw that video, I thought I got to try it with the kids. It was so hilarious for us. Oh my God, I have to see that yeah. after. No, I don't really have to see that But one. Then, then, then he did the one um, after Hillary Clinton lost the election. And mm. that, um, that, if you like Hillary Clinton, you might not like that one. <laughs> <laughs> But it's funny anyway. Yeah, no, you you really bring a great humor to it. But I do think you could do stuff like that. I think you have a lot. But I I also on the other side appreciate how much work you put into your video. Like even your thumbnails, they have so much emotion in them. Like they're so you you really set a scene because thumbnails are meant to be eyesores for a reason. Yours are not. There's something about them, and you don't use text or anything, but they're just great shots, and I like the editing to them. Really. Well. Go ahead. Oh, no, I'm just singing your praises. Now, I was uh, wondering, I always wondered if people um, online would open up more like like kind of like a therapy session. Yeah, that's true. Online, because what we were talking about before, that as a not human, you can maybe uh, get the message across uh, better to some people. Um, well, if, if, um, if people wanted to ask me advice, I'd be glad to tell them oh cool that's that cool. cool live therapy sessions with patsy <laughs> maybe, I, maybe i should do that i did a couple live streams but i felt like they fell flat well i don't know tonight you're drawing in a good crowd oh, and definitely. i mean the people asking questions imagine i i can only imagine what people would be getting into because mm -hmm. it's so different to talk uh, you know to you and i think it would be very interesting what people actually Yep. It would be a different live stream than other ones, I think. I wouldn't mind talking with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I have good advice. <laughs> I agree. I agree. And I think it puts people at the more relaxed, uh, like Xenia said, mm -hmm. relaxed state that they can open up a little bit more than they usually would. We've done show. We did a show on domestic violence. Mm -hmm. We did one on bullying. We did one on um, stereotypes. And... Um, just about anything that you can think about. There is a lot of substance to it. I mean, you have covered a lot of very important subjects, and you have a great way of doing it that I really feel gets the message across. And that's important because a lot of people can't manage to do that. So who do we got here? Who do we want to say hello to in the chat? Well, everybody is praising uh, how great you are. He loves the heathens, great show. And... Uh, um, uh, JJ just loves you too. Um, just hitting out soon, but was happy to catch you. Um, S2W themes and Silver Retro Collector actually had a question, but they still still haven't asked it. Just asked if they can ask the question. I'm waiting yeah. for the question. Uh, Tony? Is yeah, it Tony? Tony? Yeah. Tony, yeah, his name is Tony. Uh, yeah, and everybody just loves seeing you. Yeah, you know, isn't it funny? Uh, all good words, uh, just good words. Mm. I know everybody loves me, but and everybody says I got you, but then when I go and check, nobody has me. <laughs> oh my god, well, we're gonna have to fix that. We're gonna have they to do don't, something about they that. don't really watch. Well, you know, I, I, I feel like um, I'd rather have people that really care about what I do. Than to have a million people subscribe to me and you know just have it sit there and they don't really watch anything. I remember we talked about that on a panel one time and you were on it. That was and that's like kind of where I am too. Like it's nice to have subs and it's appreciated, but to me it was the idea of finally somebody saying that they actually and it's not everybody because you know some are coming, they're subbing and they're never coming back. They'll they that's it, that's all. They don't even like what you do. They just wanted a number. But out of them all, there's always these couple that keep coming back every time you make a video and they say, 
I love the editing that you did here. I really love that scene at a certain time. I really got what you're feeling about it. And that to me is worth any amount of money that I would really be able to get out of YouTube. That's right. It's validation. You know, That's and right. this example, if you wrote a song and nobody ever hears you singing it. Right. And I don't, I don't want to soapbox against anybody. I mean, it's good to build a channel and it's good to have subs and all those things. But there's something to be said for people who actually say when they see your video pop up and go, wow, they got a new one. I can't wait to go check it out. Yeah, and I um, there's a there's a handful of people that have the bell rung, and as soon as I put a video out, they come running to watch, and it's always fun to see what they have to say. But I don't expect to have a million people with ringing my bell. I don't have a million bells ringing. I could I would go crazy if I had all those bells ringing. Yeah, and that is hard. That's another part too. It's like you know, and especially uh, whose was it tonight? I went on to. Uh, Which one? We went on a couple. There was today. one, and like I, oh, the the Swedes. Oh yeah. And I liked what they did, and I haven't thought about it till they're in there, and I'm like, I haven't seen it. But went over, and sure enough, I'm completely unsubscribed for them. It it is going through a forest fire that way, and if you don't get them every day, this is one of the byproducts of it. Because I was following them for about two or three weeks, I watched probably about ten or twelve of their videos, and then they just kind of faded, I guess. Mm. But with so many coming in, it is hard to keep track when that happens. So anytime I'm in the chat, I'll look around and see, or in uh, somebody's video that I know people well, like a lot here in the channel, I'll look down their list and see if there's anybody I haven't noticed in a while, and then I'll go check, because it does happen a lot. Well, I think it was a good shot in the arm for all of us when um, we got demonetized, and That's right. we started looking for each other, and everybody tried to help, And but it's only natural that... that isn't gonna keep going like that you have to find your own way yep. um everybody has to do what they're meant to do so that's, that's I, appre I appreciate all the uh, there you know i started with professional student and you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. the i'm creator movement and not even just those even from the very beginning i connected with um other small channels that had a totally different perspective on how to do it so yep. i've always kept myself everywhere and um try to learn from everybody well that's and a good thing that's a very good i've appreciated all, all everybody that's a very good healthy attitude about the whole thing and that's great to look at it that way yeah. it is a growing so, issue and the, the branch out as much as you can it would be like if you're out in the real world handing out you know, cards and joining groups, you go in as many committees as you can visit, learn as you go, adapt and find your own way through it. That's great. Right. And we always, we have to be true to our own brand too. And I know that you came to that conclusion. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yep. it's I'm, a, I'm hashtag Patsy Houlihan. I love it. And I love that. I love it so much. And I remember when you first put that out, Xenia and I were really like... Kind yeah, of, it, but it's yeah. exactly it. We are what we are. And I think the best policy is to, to be what you are. And that's what gives it the longevity. Yep. Um, and also people who come and watch, as you say, who, who, who run and watch those videos at first. Uh, those are the ones that like... Your core. Way, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's your exactly. foundation. Yeah. And it's not just... Um, it's not just getting people to support you. You have. I also go to channels that help you to be better YouTubers. So yeah. you know, you can get a hundred subs, but if you're not doing the right thing, it's not going to sustain. So I learned from somebody that I had to fix my thumbnails and um, I had to fix my toenails. <laughs> no, but uh, I had to. Um, you know, put different tags on and yep. fix my banner and all that kind of stuff. And, well, that's know. why we started the Tech Talk too. And <laughs> not that we have all the answers and we preach that like nobody does. It's not just even what we say. It's what everybody's saying in the chat and learning from each other. It's a co-op because so many people come in here. I mean, we do video and photography and there's people make way more money than us and a way better than us. But so many people here are really specialty channels, you know, and they've, they've got in here because they like to cook or they like to fix cars or they like to knit or, and millions of other interests. 
and not all of them have a photography background or any kind of computer background. And it's very daunting. Like my hat goes off to anybody who's willing to take it to the next level for something that they love because the knitting or whatever they're doing is then becomes a very small piece at first because then you have to learn about YouTube and about tags and about extensions and about uh, working in, I'm saying Photoshop and any photo editor, video editor. It's a lot of steps. You're your own producer, director, manager, graphic designer, videographer. There's a ton of work there just to do the one thing that you love. That's right. And I'm amazed at some of these young people that seem to be like professional producers just yeah. because they've been doing it. It's a different generation. I yeah. think they, they know it right from the beginning when I start looking at their tablets, you know, in their cribs, so to say. I, I've learn. always said I would give anything to go back and do a school project today. Just yeah. to see what it's like to do yeah. one school project with everything they have available today. Instead of old encyclopedias at a school that were like, you know, always about 10 years out of date and, uh, and clippings out of magazines you had to beg and borrow from every person that you knew. To be able to go today and actually make one report must be unbelievable. They take it for granted because they've grown up with it. But for me, I would mm -hmm. want to make the biggest, most over-the-top report you could ever do. And I was not the biggest school guy. It's just because they have so much media available to them. Yes. Well, my director was writing music years ago and doing video years ago with, you know, old equipment. And now it's like, He's able to make masterpieces out of stuff that he did years ago. Isn't Most of our, a lot of our songs that we use are stuff that he's dug up from the archives of his life, and we've changed it around and made it be something. Isn't that so amazing? Yes, it is. That is so cool. Cause yeah, that's everything today. I used to, as you, I think you know, I used to play in bands and everything. Mm -hmm. And to think today you can do everything in a laptop, like every everything that we ever did can be contained in one unit now is, is phenomenal. It doesn't replace playing an actual instrument or nothing. I will never think it will. But just the thought process of a mixing board that used to be a 50-track board and cost multi-thousands of dollars now. Yeah, you don't have need to go to the studio anymore. You got... No. I mean, we've got... Um... We have an Apple, so we've got iMovie and GarageBand, and we have a whole. We can have a whole orchestra at our fingertips. That's right. That's right. I 100. percent It is amazing. Uh, the world is changing fast. We even bring that up with our kids because one is 20, one is 11, and one is seven. And even between their ages, you can see how much technology's advanced. Where years ago it was 50, 60 years in between big jumps. And we're lucky that we have somebody that can create music because of copyrights and stuff. We were able to just have all original stuff. Even though when we were monetized, sometimes YouTube would say, this is a copyright infringement. And it was our own music. Are you serious? Yes. I've heard of it before, but I didn't know you were affected by it. Oh, that really sucks. Yeah. So you'd fight it, sometimes you'd win, sometimes you'd say, what the heck? I'm just reading, sorry here, Pucha Studios, can you tell Patsy she is my favorite YouTuber sometime today would be great. And Who's Angel, that? Angel Dominique, oh, I thought Xenia said that a while ago. Yeah, I thought so too. I, when I mentioned Cassie's and Angel's uh, favorite YouTuber, uh, that's yeah. exactly what I was talking about, but... Uh, I can repeat Thank it again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Angel's been very helpful. She's uh, very helpful. Well, that's great. That's amazing. It's good to it's it's amazing how you get to meet people along the way and get help from them and network together and uh, learn from them. Like you said about your thumbnails and everything else and all that. Like you, your director has a strong musical background and also video as well. But it's still some new techniques today. It never hurts to learn. Uh, yeah. I have a few questions here, uh, yep. so I just I don't want to uh, <laughs> lose them. Um, do you have a fa favorite film, uh, Tony, from Silver Truck Collectories is asking? Favorite film? Mm. I like Mommy Dearest. I don't know if I'd say it's my favorite. 
your top three? Um, it would be in your top three? Well, maybe. It was back when we did the movie in the 80s. We used clips from that in our movie. That's why I was thinking of that. Right. Are you an um, avid movie watcher in general now? Well, we like um, old, old horror movies. Right. Not slasher stuff, but old classic stuff. Yeah, but those ones are fun. Like you say, it's not so much the gory. It was just the intenseness and the scenes. Yeah, the tension. Yeah, yep. we might. Yeah, we thought of doing um, a black and white type of old type of movie. That would we be really cool. I'd love to see that. Yes. Do you like superhero films? Superhero? Not particularly. I no. I. I well, let's put it this way. American films are formulations. They're all the same. Um, you have to see sometimes a good foreign film to see a different type of story. I agree with you on that 100%. Yeah. You know, so, do you like subtitles or do you like uh, voice dubbing? Well, you have to keep your eyes open for subtitles, but... Um, I watch subtitles. They're okay. If it's I'm, a good story. If it's a I'm, good story. I'm more for subtitles because I like to hear the original language. Mm -hmm. I, I Bonsoir. Feel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's uh, that is something that are different than other. That's why I was curious. That's more of just kind of like, is, do you like as a ketchup or ketchup? I was just curious on your opinion on it. <laughs> Um, I know uh, that you have gone fishing, uh, but there's also a question about uh, do puppets swim and would rather prefer swimming or being in a hot tub? Well, our bath puppets have been in the water. So there, there yes, are we, yes, we do have two bath puppets that, that bath met puppets that mm -hmm. um, have been on a few times. <laughs> and um, yes, they um, they can get wet. I was in the bathtub during the um, bath salts video, but I wasn't really swimming. I'd warp. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, <laughs> and our bath bit puppets also were bur burrowing through the snow in our um, get out and have fun video in the yeah. winter time. Did that answer the question? Who asked? Who asked such a silly question? Uh, what the? What the heck? <laughs> what, what, what are you laughing about? I love it. Uh, Pat, no. Uh, Philip Cochran was asking about the swimming. I love when Patsy gets straight down to business. I find it so amazing. I don't know, Andrew. I think <laughs> people just was starting to say that you're getting it together finally, uh, but I guess it was no, too early. No, Any, anything. Uh, okay, I have some more questions because otherwise people get upset. I don't ask them, so I, I just don't want to skip anything. Uh, there was mm -hmm. also a question about uh, if and when are you going to do a makeup how-to video? And the question was from Colorado Martini. Ooh. Well, my makeup is painted on, so I don't know if I need to. <laughs> but yeah. um, I th uh, that's what I thought. So I thought it was pretty original uh, question. And I, I, I think you can pull it off, though. That would be interesting. Maybe Auntie should do that. Yeah. Why not? But she had too much Botox. That's why her mouth sticks out like that. <laughs> yeah, she's. She's, she's a little more vain than you are. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Tattoo makeup. Miss Kathy wants to have a tattoo. Oh my god! What a tattoo of me! <laughs> Don't you a tattoo? You do a tattoo on you, like tattooed makeup. Miss Kathy. <laughs> Um, I think she had just too many beers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of I'm thinking of uh, making some merchandise, like making some mugs with my face on it. That would be pretty cool. I, I think that would be really cool. 
Mm. Have you ever thought of actually making like these uh, mini dolls? Sometimes, uh, you know, like uh, superheroes or characters in movies, they have the toys that you can actually purchase for like uh, kids or even adults to play with. Have you ever thought of that? Like have mini me's as a merchandise? No, I haven't thought of that. But that reminds me that when we were using the video camera, we made a movie that we got to find that too, where we made a, a tiny, tiny little me, and we did a movie where I shrunk. Oh. oh. Yeah. Wow. So that was really cool. And uh, it was kind of like Alice in Wonderland-ish. We had me in a little car that looked like a real car. That, I gotta, we got to find that. That yeah, would be cool. Yeah. Find that. That's really sound interesting. Oh, that, that, yes, you definitely got to put that like first priority. That would be amazing. Yeah, that sounds good. How long ago did you make that? God, I think that was in the 80s, 90s. I don't know. What year is it now? I don't know. <laughs> huh? What year do you live in? We've been around a long time. Mm. <laughs> and were you always active or did you have like I don't, a long period? I, I, look, I look pretty much the same though. I've lost a little hair, but. Still looking, um, still looking good as ever. I still I made try. for me. <laughs> uh, now there was a more questions. Uh, well, Kathy is all cooked up on Millie. Uh, yeah. She <laughs> <laughs> she wanted uh, uh, to ask you about Millie's song lyrics and how does that come to be? Millie's what? Song lyrics. Millie's song oh. lyrics, how they came to Well, this. well, well, my, my director is a songwriter, and um, he can just sit down and write, and something comes out. So he writes for Millie, and um, that's, that's it. What, 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 what do you want to know, Miss Kathy? How do, you, how do you and the director get along? Do you think it's a pretty good relationship? Do you guys uh, butt heads sometimes? Well, yes, um, but I usually get my way. <laughs> <laughs> What's your secret? <laughs> the star of the show, right? <laughs> you know, these directors, they're always trying to put their hand up your dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, uh, jeez. <laughs> Oh my god. Nowadays, even allegation of that can get him fired. So <laughs> yeah. you know. Keep him in check. Don't let him get too no, far. No, he's 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 a good guy. There's that old expression uh, that uh, you're not somebody till you're difficult to work with. Would you consider yourself difficult to work with? Well, I don't really say no to anything. Um yeah. it, as long as I can do it. But if I had to do a lot of singing, I'd say no, because I don't really do most of the singing. No, but uh, like I still say, I still think you did belt out a decent tune. So, uh, well, yeah. some people were asking uh, for uh, for you to sing. Would you be kind for us to sing a little bit? Okay, I can sing the song from um, my computer. How to how to get rid of a computer bug? Yes. Video. Perfect. When there was a fly on my computer and I sang a song that my mother taught me. I think this is perfect. Catch a fly, put him in a jar. You'll have luck wherever you are. Catch a fly and put him in a jar and you'll have luck wherever you are. Oh, so cool. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Not like Millie, though. No way. <laughs> well, you're you have each have your own great qualities, and you are the the star, bigger than life star. Well, they say that. I say I'm like Zsa Zsa Gabor. I'm a big star, <laughs> but doesn't have any fame. Didn't do anything. Well, I don't know. I th I know it's not maybe the greatest, the biggest numbers you would hope for, but I think there's some people in here tonight that. Uh, Oh yeah, you, you, you J, won the hearts. JJ was numbers saying, makes me smile, and I agree. There's, a, I think there is a permanent smile on everybody's faces uh, tonight who are in the chat and watching you. Yeah, and and that's already is is so much, especially nowadays world with everything going on. To have that, yeah. you know, the different uh, 
Uh, Number, numbers and money don't mean that much, but when you get a comment from somebody around the world that yeah. likes what you do, yeah, that's that's pretty pretty awesome. Exactly, it can change your whole day. And yeah. even though it's not the numbers you're hoping for, it makes you feel so good that you made what you made or did what you did. And you and you're publishing something. You're releasing something. Yeah, we're releasing movies. We're releasing music. So it's like. You know, it's it's really what we've always wanted to do, and we're doing it. And is idiotic as YouTube sometimes is, you have to thank them that they've allowed us to do this. That gets lost a lot in the mix, and it is something. I mean, you just think what we're doing right now, you're where you are, we're here. Everybody in the chat room is from all different areas, and here we sit tonight with just a couple of clicks. We're able to do what we're doing. I mean, this... A couple of years ago, wasn't even thought of, you know, that was yes, thought. it's free. And one thing I've been saying lately is that we're on the same platform that millionaires are on. Yep. That is true. And that's what I was saying about it too. Like, I mean, yes, there's a couple got on, and we can I always kind of compare them to boy bands that were manufactured, there was money. You gotta bite the bullet and realize there's always gonna be people like that. You can't blame your <laughs> Success or not success on them. You got to do what you got to do because there are people that are doing what we've did and grown So it's not like it's impossible. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of dedication It's a lot of luck mm -hmm. the same as the music industry was as everything else I've always used you know how many times have we walked down the street I heard a guy play in a street corner that has ten times the talent than what you've ever heard on a radio but he was late the day of the audition that didn't work out for him his mother got sick and he couldn't go they just never noticed them. There's a million reasons why he didn't get to where he is. And all you can do is just run with it and hope you get the right notice. And in the meantime, just make great content in case one day the right person does come along. You'll be ready. <laughs> it's my turn to speak. <laughs> I should get one of those instead of that white flag I'm using up here. Oh, that was amazing. No, and Andy, you're right. This is the thing. Um, the, nope. remember, remember back in the day when every kid with a guitar wanted to be in a band and yep. they were going to get rich being in a band rather than having a real job. <clears throat> well, that's what YouTube is. Everybody thinks that they're going to make it on YouTube and they won't have to have a real job. That's well, right. Guess what? Once this becomes your job, it's not going to be so much fun anymore. No, no. Nope. So. So I'm kind of happy I'm not at a thousand yet. I think I'm somewhere in seven hundred twenty or something like that. You know what? A thousand isn't even anything. You got to have millions. Oh yeah. Even though I, getting rid. Oh, so, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's like this. Um, I don't know if you would know. Uh, Good Mythical Morning. Uh, two guys and me and uh, my son. We used to watch them years ago when they just started as two guys. You know, just fooling around in their kitchen, uh, and then they progressed. You know. Uh, they, they had a little studio inside their garage and we still kept watching them. Well, now uh, they're picked, they have millions of supporters. They have been on good, uh, you know, uh, in the morning shows on TV and YouTube has picked them up for YouTube Red. And uh, when they got interviewed on H3 podcast, they said that they can't enjoy it as much as they used to anymore because it's all the time schedule. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got to be here. You can't really create what you want anymore like they used to when they were sitting in that kitchen table. And they were saying, although, yes, it's fame, maybe it's money, but they miss doing that because they are not creating anymore what they wanted to. It does become like a job from nine to five. That's right. It's That's hard. right. It's hard to keep the passion when it becomes that many pressures. I don't think people realize that, especially kids that always say, you know, I want to become a YouTuber. How much actually work is behind it and, and very little of uh, your own creativity once you uh, reach that certain level. Yeah, there's a lot that goes with it, you know. You know I liked it when I was monetized and Every three years, I get a hundred bucks, but you know, that, yeah, I wasn't getting rich on that. No, nope. but you still do good content, 
And one day when it does take off and you get noticed, you'll be ready for it. I think I was listening to Corn Life today, and he said he came to the conclusion that this wasn't where he needs to go as far as a job. Yeah. And that's smart for a yeah. lot of people, you know? That's true. Not that we shouldn't do it, but, you know, there's other reasons why we're doing it. And it's even like some people do get noticed with one video, but it's got to be more than that. You know, you see a lot of them, they get like a, a short term success, and that even is a harder fall for them when it fades away. There's nothing guaranteed with this. There's no uh, pension plan. There's no nothing. I mean, you could be big one day and forgotten about the next. And we've seen that with some of them. It took one bad video, is pretty much put them into the shadows. Yeah, not to mention Paul Logan. Yeah. Oh, Logan. your video, oh. your your Paul Logan video. Oh my God, that reminds me. <laughs> For those of you who haven't yes, seen it, you you're got... gonna go over and see the oh my God Paul Logan video on Patsy's channel. That was so smart. You're so I don't know. I don't know. Profound in your videos. There's such a great message for this kind of stuff. That video was like the turning point for this new era because yeah. um, we've been around for a long time and we've ridden different waves of different things like trends or whatever. And we've um, we've been a part of small YouTuber groups for years and they've come and somebody gets offended and then it splits up and, you mm. know, then last year there was this girl called Owl Girl who started and she got a thousand thousand subscribers in one month mm. she was controversial liberal all that kind of stuff she swore a lot but she loved me she loved my videos so I started to ride on her tail and um, she disappeared one day she just stopped and then oh. Nobody knew where she was, and recently all her videos went down. But I have a video where she's talking about me, and I talk back to her on the video. That's that's all there is left of her. Yeah. I don't know where you are, old girl. She maybe died. Who knows? You ever think about that? What happens when a YouTuber dies? Is there a graveyard for us? Hmm. You know, sure. interesting Facebook, for example, especially because it's it's kind of looks like it's dying off. But it it was said that by two thousand, uh, I think forty, uh, there's gonna be more people uh, that are gonna be dead on Facebook than alive. It's gonna be basically a virtual uh, graveyard. Yeah, more profiles of dead people than alive. <laughs> wow. Crazy. Yeah. Like we had, uh, that's how I rolled the other day, who was in the hospital. And that's what we were talking about, like, you know, the kind of community we've built here enough. In our chat, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that I, I don't want to see anybody sick or ill or something happen. But when he did go in the hospital, we actually found out through other people in the community here in our channel and were able to talk about it and send good thoughts. And he was even on when he was in the hospital. Yes, it was so cool. You know, I loved it. Oh my god! So there's that other side connected. of it. Yeah. But you're right. When you when the video disappears, you know, then you don't really know yeah. like where they are because all you have is the channel and videos. It's such so easy or so hard as just to push the delete button and and the poof and. That's why I was going to say for us, like by building these better connections. So that's what this is the whole point of where you can see the payoff come instead of somebody just fading into obscurity or just wondering, oh, they're not on for a couple of days, we we're actually able to find out and be with them when they were having a hard time. So I guess there yes. is no to combat that. Yes, I've made a few friends, so hopefully if we get sick, we'd be able to tell somebody. Yeah. Because it is kind of a weird feeling, isn't it? You know, some people make channels and then they just disappear, and then you wonder, you know, over the next month or so, I wonder what happened, and are they okay? Was it for... YouTube reasons? Was it for family reasons? Did something happen to them? You never know. I was watching a video the other day of some guy going through his cancer treatment and his last video he said that it, it, nothing was going to work. Oh. So, that peewee? Uh, yes. 
I think so. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I follow him too. I have followed him. I don't. I don't need. It's just. It's funny how things just sort of pop up on your screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think because a lot of us started watching in the rounds, I think that's what's happening. Then those videos too kind of come up as suggested videos because we, if we're watching each other's stuff, and we start watching something else, you know, everybody it just kind of starts popping up more. His mother was in the car and she's crying. That was an awful reality is hard. Yeah. And we lose it on YouTube. It's a bit of a dreamland, you know, and there's a lot of people here tonight that are smiling and talking. And I mean, once the camera goes off or the computer goes off, they're going through some rough times and you wonder about them sometimes if they're all okay. You see, like I think his videos is just an example of how raw it could be, you know, because yeah. his videos are I think sometimes as raw as it could be actually is talking about everything he feels and does and but at the same time it's so in uh, inspirational and I guess I guess that's why he's doing it. Uh you know, like now he's still still fighting it you know like it's unbelievable and 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 i think that's what inspires that's what i like about youtube is such a variety of content where you can find inspiration for every need of your life so to say yep it's uh yep it's it's some people like that's he has a very very amazing story and i think it's also part therapy for him maybe that's his way of also helping to deal with it and that's fine too you know he's he is doing it for the right reasons it's not like you know his chances right now that he's doing it like to to benefit from. i think it's something deeper with him than that i oh definitely well it's been more than a year of him vlogging about it yeah. so so what's going on in the chat yeah. well the corn life network just joined us um well, that's how i roll we talked about and they yeah. are in mm -hmm. <laughs> um so that's great cuffs is in um, a cuffs is Coriolis effect, man, for those of you who don't know. And Bottle Caps uh, oh. is just joined in. And uh, Life with Ken and Jane, Stephen Bowman, and everybody is loving you. It's so, so amazing to see you. For those who didn't know that you're going to be on, there's like, oh, such a great surprise. So great to see you on. Uh, so uh, people always love to see you and this is blue wrench nation in action right now look at all these great channels and every one of them is a blue wrench in here yeah it's been awesome so far yeah. i love it and i'm just quoting the chat right now <laughs> well um, you don't see puppets on live streams that much do you no we don't see and, them enough <laughs> and kathy was saying that that's great and uh that mm -hmm. you are uh bringing back uh, those yeah. type of of Puppet puppetry. Wow. Because I remember, when, you know, my school days when oh, uh, oh. or childhood days when you know we used to enjoy that, and now I don't kids that don't even know what is it. I think so. It's great that you, you know you can't even find a puppet store anymore. Yeah. Oh wow! You can't. You know. Um, we when we started this channel, we scoured every corner for every puppet channel. And every puppet site, and we networked completely with all that, and got very little from that. And we're part of a um, um, a website called Puppets and Stuff, but most of them are puppet makers, and um, they I think they didn't think we were serious. I think they think we're kind of goofy. Because they're like all into making marionettes and mm -hmm. you know, all this artsy fartsy stuff. And mm -hmm. we're not artsy fartsy, we're just fun. So I did connect. That's where I connected with the guy from Columbia. But, um, you know, it's like do, what's happened now, branching out to other channels has been better. I don't have hardly any puppet channels that are regulars now. I just seen Millie and uh, Ashley. Uh, they uh, they're saying they incorporate puppet making, puppet shows in the pre K curriculum here in New York City. It's part of the arts. Well, that might help foster some new love and puppetry. I hope. Well, we have a puppet museum in the town that I'm in, and um, but it's all for kids. It's pretty much all for kids, and we're not really a kids. We're not really for children. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, but that's where YouTube is great. I think it does give you a platform. I think it's very smart that you're on YouTube because it really is a great platform for puppetry. I think we would have fit on Pee Wee Herman's show. <laughs> But remember, everything makes a resurgence, and maybe you're at the forefront of it. You never know. I I do believe in that, and I mean that's why once again it's so important to keep doing like you're doing, just making good content, because you never know when the winds of change are going to come. And they Every, come everything is animation now. So until no. people get tired of it, and it will pass, and it will come back, and there's always retro turns. You know, same as in music, as you were saying a while ago, you always see that. You know, how many people wouldn't listen to Def Leppard 10 years ago, but now are going to reunion tours all over the states? Everything has to come back. Nostalgia won't go away. I think it has a lot to do with the, with the age of the people, because if the average age is, uh, you know, 25, 45 range, those are the people that have the kids. And they are the ones that they are reintroducing the things that they had in their childhood to their children that's why everything comes back you know if 25 45 year olds have warm feelings about uh, puppet shows for example they're going to be talking or doing that with their kids and therefore they're going to be starting to like that as well so that yeah. i think that's why it, you know it, it goes back to it too but if you look at the old 50s 60s shows with puppets like mine they look pretty creepy yeah yeah i know what you mean Some, back then yeah but not uh, <laughs> You you have I don't know you I love your sets because they're always very tranquil in the back. It's only you moving, and that's what really kind of built draws the eye to it. And you're great at your pauses. That's why I find you so uh, great to watch. That's why you crack me up. Sometimes it's more funnier what the person doesn't say versus what they say. Well, we don't use scripts. Uh, that's great. We tried using scripts, but we never stick with them. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's where great content comes from. You're kind of like the uh, Bob Newhart of puppetry. <laughs> Auntie has good pausing. Yes, yes. In the, in the Mother's Day one, she's got some good pausing. It's pretty funny. And it's just the look, the little bit of a turn to the side. You know, you can see both eyes, but not directly on. All that stuff, it just cracks me up. It's really well done. And there are two questions, and I'm probably not going to know how to. Uh, uh, so, who, Kathy was asking who the puppet is that is like the Sesame Street character on your show. On your show. That's the Indigo American. That's <laughs> um, <it's> Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> so fun, Indigo. <laughs> and uh, also, the question was about the thoughts on Jeff Dunham. Jeff Dunham. Yeah. What about him? What you think about him as a puppeteer? Well, he's a ventriloquist. I, yeah. My director wishes that he was a ventriloquist, but he's not. <laughs> um, That's a whole technique in itself, is what you're it's, saying. Yes, yes, it's, it's a whole different thing. So, but we um, we don't discriminate. We have ventriloquist puppets, sock puppets, um, knee puppets. And uh, we don't have any marionettes right now, though. But have you done marionettes like in the past, or is your director pretty good no, with marionettes? Not at all. No. No. And that's another skill again on its own. Yeah, I don't know how they do that. That's a tough one. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's like fly. My father was a fly fishing guide, and that would be like fly fishing versus spinning rods. It's a whole art just in its own, and 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 the creating the movement. You're all yes. about personality, Patsy. You're all about personality. That's me. <laughs> personality. Yeah. You got one. You got a personality, too. I, I, it, yours just shines. I don't know. There's something about it, and it just takes over the room whenever you're here. So. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, people were thanking us for having you, but I, I must say it's a big thanks to Patsy for agreeing for, in the last minute to jump on. So <laughs> and, kind of you to and, do uh, that. Uh, yes, and agreeing to be on. It's it's so yeah. amazing. Uh, people are loving you. We love you. Uh, 
Yes, I, I I think people should more and more watch your videos. We're gonna try to put some more, yeah. maybe tweet some more out, um, because it's definitely something different on YouTube, and I think that's what one hundred percent needs diversity. And in a world that's been taken over so much by technology, I think that's why. Because if, I'm gonna be very open and honest. I was never very big into puppets, even when I was younger. And that's why you got such a special place with me. I think you fell me. in love with Beth, I think so. Know, Sometimes I think I'm starting to blush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. but <laughs> Yes, I noticed Angel said the same thing, that she didn't like puppets either until she met me. Yeah. yeah. And I really do. Like, I, I, I don't know. There's, I, there's something about you that's, I don't know. I can't even put my finger on it, but I just love it. And you got some new followers, too, from uh, Beauty and the Bear followed you. And uh, Tawny from UK mm -hmm. uh, followed you as well. And, and we'll be checking out your videos. So hopefully, uh, again, uh, from all over the world, uh, seeing you and watching you in every corner. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So you you've definitely you you're gonna grow you you're doing the healthy, and you got great content. At least you know that people are there are there to see you, and that's gonna mean something. Well, we've got other people. If they get sick of me, I can always give it over to somebody else. <laughs> well, Millie I don't, and in, in how is it again? Indi Indigo. 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 Indigo American. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> only you see there's that example where only you can do that <laughs> nobody yeah else. he's um in our black history month video which is indigo pretty, I, I just love it. That's pretty so on the edge yeah yeah no no <laughs> and it is true as a puppet like it gives you a little more leeway in those subjects you know to play with it a bit like and you always do it respectfully i mean that's what i like about it it's uh you can open up a dialogue that'd be harder for other people to do i think uh james is saying that he's been always a fan of you and uh rick uh, from coral life that you're a phenomenon and you're not going anywhere <laughs> <laughs> uh so uh and s2w that you're definitely a refreshing format on youtube angel saying that you are gonna be famous i agree uh definitely we'll, we'll see we all think that you're just one video away from getting noticed by somebody. Because everybody who gets to see you, they yeah. love you. It's it's so we gotta show you more to the world. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I always say it would take one celebrity. Oh and um yeah. that's right. You know that, that um somebody uh, some movie producer um caught the local high school close to where I live. So my director oh. I'm gonna try to sneak around there and see what he can do there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yes, exactly. Well, like I was saying the other day, you know, you gotta just keep uh, putting the content out, like um, everybody of us, because it's the same as with a lottery ticket. You're never gonna know, uh, you know, if somebody's gonna pick it up. You can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, you you can't get famous or noticed if you don't put the content out. So. Uh, in the meantime, we are enjoying oh, it. <laughs> I think I know the answer to this one, but uh, James was James Cox was asking why does uh, Patsy Hulan always make that clicking sound when she talks? Does she need to see a puppet dentist? <laughs> well, Jimmy, um, I could say why do you always? Well, I won't say it, but <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just you know because I'm made of wood. Jimmy. Can you rap? No. <laughs> and Jim Apple was also wondering if you can cross your eyes. <laughs> I, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you people are crazy. Oh, that's yes. good. <laughs> that's true. That's true. You're the only sane voice in the world full of crazy, my dear. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good on the eyes. I love the oh, hand. The hand, the They're hand. just killing me. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Corey Holt, the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> No, uh, no, these no, sweet no. dreams with bats. Always good dreams with bats. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Miss Kathy says I'm nervous that uh, Patsy may have a stalker with Michael Furberger guy. Oh God, that guy. <laughs> and Tony uh, from uh, Silver uh, uh, Silveretto Collector. That's amazing, Patsy. Wow. Pushes to the big thumbs up and claps and everything. See, you've got great followers here, and we just got to get you more out into the world. You really do win people over. They got to see you to appreciate all that you do. Just sharing your first season in the chat so yeah. people can check it out. I really do believe that. First season wasn't the best. It was kind of rough, but if you watch it and watch it all the way through to season four, you see how we grew. Yes, well, that's that's exactly that, exactly. And I think that's cool to see like that. You know, you watch somebody progress, you actually have more of appreciation for the work that they put into what they do. Because it was just me and Millie. Yeah. yeah. Before the whole family was together. Slowly, though, you all connected, and you, you've built quite a, fo a, a family together. So It just kept going and going and going, and now we've taken over a whole bedroom. <laughs> Your director has a lot of work. Hmm. I, I hats off to him. Uh, there are some people worried about your voice, and I start to voice uh. <laughs> worry about that too. <laughs> so, are you okay there? <laughs> We're fine. I, we have cough drops somewhere. <laughs> I was wondering if I could ask the uh, I mean, you about the director because you know him so well. Uh, the director got into music at a very early age. Yes. Yeah. And can we talk a little yes. bit about music? Like what, what kind yeah. of instruments and stuff like that and how it began with music? Well, he learned how to play guitar himself and piano and um, started to write songs. And um, he actually, um, at one point, had a couple songs sent to record companies that went through, got through the first session. Wow. But they didn't accept it the second time through. Hmm. But so, how young did he start around? Like in elementary school or even like prior, before that? or Teenager years, probably. Hmm. Is music. That right? he, was that right? <laughs> yes, that's what he says. Teenage years, yeah. No, oh, that's when a lot get kind of the bug. You know, you start to hear music. What would be the director? What would have been the director of some of these bigger uh, influences for music? The Beatles. Yeah. The the hippie Beatles or the pre -be uh, pre hippie Beatles. All of them. All of them. Anybody else? Um, well, if you want to go back, way back to yeah. um, like um, we we like um, he likes old old rock and roll stuff because um, because it's easy to write that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> um, like we did. Um, we one of our um, so, well. Um, we did a video called Love Turned Upside Down, okay. and the song in that one is kind of a throwback to, like, the leader of the pack. Oh, wow. You know, where there's an accident and all that stuff. Right. And um, Millie's boyfriend gets killed in a car crash. Mm. So, another bad relationship. So, yeah. So, uh, the dra dramatic music. Dramatic music. Like, um, right. Some of that early stuff, like there was a group called the Shangri La's, yes, that did um, Leader of the Pack and did really did all their songs were like little dramas, yeah. And then the Beatle music had a lot of strings, a lot of drama. Well, and, Leader of uh, the Pack was eventually uh, covered by um, uh, Twisted Sister, a couple people, yeah. 
which was uh, it, it. Those songs were good. Those old doo wop years and that. I mean, even look at Chuck Berry to this day. There's still not a rock band that doesn't play Johnny Be Good now and then. You know, and whether they're a thrush or a metal or a rock or a, you know, there's always a place for that kind of music that they, it still speaks to people. Right. Well, we're working on a video with Mr. Frog, and he sings a song that's kind of a throwback, too. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, that'll be great. He did a song a while back last year called Do the Hop. And that was kind of like a old-time rock and roll song. Awesome. It's, uh, I love it. And I, I'm glad to hear the director had that kind of a background and everything. And I'm sorry he didn't go past first round with the songwriting. I know it. It's the same as we talked about with YouTube. It's, it's it's a very hard business to get noticed, and it's not because of lack of talent or lack of effort. It's a it's just numbers, you know. It, it's it's hard to say because on one side you have somebody who is so passionate and so creative and pours their soul into it, and unfortunately the other side is a very corporate driven machine, and a lot of it just goes through numbers and luck of the draw. So how's everybody doing out there? Are you still awake, Miss Kathy? Oh, everybody's hooked on your every word. How could they not? I don't know about that. I think so. <laughs> I I think you have one of the most dedicated followings we've ever had in here, Mike. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, Geeks just came in, so uh, <laughs> unfortunately, Sean is sick. <laughs> so we, guess why? I guess we can't talk too loud. They have sore heads today. Yeah. <laughs> I, I watched the Geek Squad. Uh, did you? They were they were, uh, they were really good last night. They were live. They were celebrating. So yeah, did, of, they, did they find any ghosts? Oh, they, I, I think uh, they were past spirits last yes, night. Yes, my God, <laughs> they had a bit of a wild night. Oh, those kind of spirits. Yeah. Yes. yes exactly. Yes. 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 <laughs> That's why we can't talk too loud now. <laughs> so, uh, what is your um, like future thinking for your? um message out there what what would you like to do with your channel or in the long term um, i got an answer i'm thinking that's okay well um like i said we kind of ride what where things are going and we moved from the episodic um, five, six minute episodes like a variety show. Now it's just um, kind of like what we come up with per time. I don't know. It's hard to, hard to answer that because whenever we do one thing and think we should do something else similar, we mm -hmm. come up with a different idea. Mm -hmm. Like the power of good, we really liked that, that kind of thing. But it was a different, that was different. Mm -hmm. And in our road trips, um, we would like to do more road trips, like to the Catholic uh, retreat center. Yeah. But we need people, other people to be involved. Sometimes we don't have other people. Right. Well, maybe you'll find your way to Montreal sometime. Maybe. That's up there in Canada. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it'd always be nice to have you. And you are uh, in New York, so it's not, not too far. No. I was friends with, um, that, I was friends with um, Lonnie from Farintosh Farms Did he, Photography. He's right. Oh, yeah. Canada, too. Yes, yes that's he right. is. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We we did a collaboration video way back in the beginning. Really? And, oh. Yeah. Yeah. He made a he made a spoof on um the movie Independence Day. Right. And one night, my director came home from work like at ten o'clock, and there was a message from Lonnie saying. Would you be willing to do that scene in the movie where the guy says, up yours? <laughs> so he got, he got in touch with him. This was the first, first time. So he got in touch with him. And okay. 
He said we could do it the next day, but my director said, let's just get it over with and do it right now. So at 1 o'clock in the morning, we're shooting this scene. Right. So he puts it together with clips from the real movie, and then he found some other clips for some other YouTubers, and then he put that in. It's a little rough, but that was kind of like my first collaboration. That's so cool. And it's on his his channel, I'm assuming? Yeah. We're going to check it yeah, out. Yeah, we definitely got to go yeah. back and check that out. Yeah, I think it might be just call it Independence Day. He's oh, a cool. very good creative soul, too. I mean, his channel. He's a nice guy. So and, I just did that video of him doing the chicken dance. Yes. Chicken dance video. That's right. Yes. <laughs> You guys, I can see working well together because you kind of got the same, uh, demeanor, like your yeah. demeanor, and of, like you said about a varied channel. You know, you like exploring different, uh, different patterns. Well, on the people either love me or hate me. He I just don't think hate you. <laughs> he just got it right away, and and he immediately um, clicked. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's a, it's nice when you find people like that, isn't it? But he said we can't talk on the phone anymore because he has to pay. I guess you can't. I guess Canada, you got to pay to talk on the phone. I. Uh, yeah. Well, you have to have the North America. Yeah, uh, some don't have the yeah. North American plan. Yeah, for uh, calling the states and that. Yes. Who knew? Who knew is right. That's right. Uh, there was one mystical question, and and Kathy said you have to. Set James straight about that black veil and who was under it. He was. <laughs> <laughs> well, he says it was Kathy, and Kathy <laughs> says it wasn't her. And um, yeah. No, that was a friend of uh, my director's who came to town. This is a story. She came to town to visit her daughter. And then she got very sick. And my director said, you need to go to the hospital. She didn't want to. So he called 911. She went to the hospital. And she ended up having Guillain-Barre syndrome. What well, kind of syndrome? Yeah. Guillain-Barre syndrome. Oh wow! Is it some kind? Is it a rare disease or it, what? It's rare where you people can become totally paralyzed and have to have a trach. Wow! Oh my God! Yeah, and uh, she didn't. That didn't happen. But she was in the hospital for ten days. Oh really? Oh wow! So then she came after she got out. She came and stayed with us for a couple of days. And that's when we went on the road trip just to get her out to do some fresh air. And um, she was really, really sick, but she wanted to do that. So we did that little clip with her, but she was really sick. Wow. But now she's back in Florida. How, how is she doing now? Well, she said she's kind of getting a relapse and they want to do the treatment again when you have that you have to have a thing called IVIG treatments where you have to have plasma pumped into you from hundreds of people oh. so, so you get the antibodies of the plasma to boost up the immune, immune system. system yeah mm -hmm. wow, wow. Oh. So, uh, yeah, that's that's that's. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, I'm glad you guys get to do the video together, but that's really. Uh, I I feel for having it. Um, that's. I don't know what to say on yeah. that one. It's says awful. I'm sorry to hear that. And you thought it was all going to be fun and games. So oh, I appreciate that. No, that. we do appreciate we do. that. This is the balance that we've always wanted to have in these shows. You know, you've been in enough. You've heard me say it about like layers, like you know, the onion skins. And everybody has a story here, and it's nice to know stuff behind the lens and just just to get to know a person better. You know, that's the whole point of this. I love the characters. I love your videos the same as everybody else, but it's also good to get to know you and the director a little bit more as well. Yes. Yes, that's true. I'm just saying goodbye to a couple of people that have to run out. That's I'm on the... 
Usually, Cindy does this stuff, and, and I'm not so good at I'm, it. I'm too caught up in the I know, I know. I I, that's why, yes, I'm usually more on the chat. That's so all I good. apologize to everybody <laughs> who I didn't say bye or hi. Uh, <laughs> my God. Yeah. No, it's, um, I don't know. I find it so interesting. I really do. And I really appreciate the director, too, opening up a bit about music and stuff like that and where it began. Can I ask about, if the director doesn't mind another question, just about puppets and how that started to become a part of his life? Well, they were because he was um, he was in a church, and that's where that play that I was in happened. Right, but there was, so that was the very first time there was no puppets before that. No. Okay. Sorry about that. That was no. part of, I guess I was kind of caught on to. No, not at all. It's not like it was anything he wanted to do. He didn't even want to do puppets when we did this show. Oh, he really? Just, he just thought he could make money on me. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> what direct, that's what directors do, right? Right. <laughs> They're the money Five guys. Five dollar return. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Most of his friends don't even know that he does this because he's too embarrassed. But that's okay, though. That's that's part of the mystique, and that's the nice thing about YouTube. You can have a full audience, and I mean, you're the star of the show, anyways, and that's okay. Right. So anyway, yeah. So it wasn't like uh, like a lot of people that do puppets. It's like with that puppet puppet website we're on. Those people are like that's their life. Yeah. But he has. Too many different interests to just be into one thing. He's music and outdoor stuff and what? friends, family, everything, you know. Yep. It's good to have a mix. Yeah, because sometimes one thing ends and, um, you know. One thing he did that was smart, though, is that he found a doppelganger of me on eBay. So if I ever get destroyed, we can keep going. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, considering that there is not much, as you were saying, it's hard to come by. Uh, yeah, that's that's good to have. I mean, you know, yeah. it's like a clone nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll have an evil sister sometime. Oh my yeah. god, alter alter ego. Yeah. <laughs> well listen, we don't want to keep you too late. I know you said at the beginning today when I had asked you to, you don't like to stay on too late because of your voice and everything. And, and we, we kind of tire you it. out. Yes. <laughs> we want to preserve it. We do not want to do anything to harm how special you are. <laughs> I, I I want to really genuinely thank you once and for f first of all, thank you for coming on such short notice. B, thank you for having the integrity you do and the amazing channel, the work you do. And uh, I don't know, there's something special about you. And I can't quite put my finger on it, but it is something really special. And I'm really glad that you got to come here tonight and talk with us. Thank you. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity and hope that everybody enjoyed everything. And... Um, that everybody has a good life. Thank yeah. you so much. And we're looking forward to your new videos and, and new content and new messages. Thank you. And uh, you take care of yourself and you promise to stay. We'll see you in the chat. And uh, we'll also promise to try and keep on top as well in your videos. We definitely don't want to lose contact with you. Okay, sounds good. And please know we're one of those channels like right now it's been growing a lot and the live streams have been like something we were never prepared for along with regular life work the kids and that but you're one of those channels I never want to lose and I do try whenever I can to get over so we're always thinking of it if I ever miss one please come into one of our chats and give me a good talking to because I'll be right back over That's right. Okay, Andy, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one that can call me that. <laughs> oh, God, I'm blushing. Stop. Wow. <laughs> Stop. That's, I can feel the heat. Just, right it's here. only me who can make you blush, <laughs> but you you did that too. My God. <laughs> That's special. 
Oh. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Have a great night. Thank Bye. you. So much. Bye now. Bye. Take care. So amazing. And I don't know why I, I, I honestly can't stand puppets. I was never into it, the whole kid thing. And, uh, I, I love me them. Crazy. Not me, ever. At any point I in my life. I love live puppet shows. Mm. Puppet show theater. Ugh. Remember we went to Chris once? I know, I know. You're all into it. You get that once. child I wonder. You're like, oh, I wonder if the dragon will get him. I'm like, I'll just hope the dragon gets but me. But Patsy's <laughs> special because yeah. it, is, it is like, you know, I, I don't know if they would like the comparison but it is like spongebob in a way that is yes. for kids but at the same time it is very much for adults yeah probably even more than for kids yeah uh, no. and and i think that uh it's the wit the the being a master of balancing to be that message for adults but yeah. yet still be engaging uh with kids as well and not you know yeah it, it just to be both at the same time, I think is such a detailed work and especially doing that in a puppetry. And uh, I think they have accomplished that pretty well. So I, I, I hope we get more exposure because it really deserves it. Look at you see like the people, you know, everybody gets it. Even if you haven't seen her yet. Like once you see her, it's just something great about her. Bits of Real Panther, Pucha Studios, you guys never watched Mystery Science Theater 3000. Those puppets are great. Yeah, it's not like I don't, I'm, I am I can appreciate the work that goes into it. I don't know, I just never connect well with them. And it's not like, I don't, it's not like I've got a bias or anything. I don't know, it just never clicked with me, for lack of a better term. But yeah, maybe because of Patsy, more like the interact. Like we've sat on panels together. And I mean, especially when Miss Kathy was there too, I mean, we were... The two of us were dying. Like I uh, couldn't take it. It's just the look. Oh, that was just something. Like we jump back and what was that? It's it was jumping from around from people, reality. and you get to <laughs> Patsy and Patsy just have that look, like you know the just kind of frozen. There's something about it just kills me every time. I, I'm amazed she got you blushed. Yeah. So usually it was only my job or yeah. work, yeah. <laughs> consequence of my work. So that's definitely something special. Yeah. Uh, no, I, hi, hands. By the way, uh, we just uh, said bye to Patsy on our live stream. So if you want to check her out, you gotta go back. Yeah, Patsy was fantastic. That was so much fun. And like I say, today we had a guest that had to cancel, and we I was on the live stream and just put out a call, and Patsy was there, and Patsy just came on, and uh, yeah, that's so was a, amazing. A great uh, response. Yeah, Patsy. Uh, Patsy, that was a riot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great and that's what we love about oh, uh good. you know uh, about the part of doing our show is is to try and get more as we call it deep and personal yeah. uh but behind the channel because you know as we were talking about some channels that poof and they're gone yeah uh, but it is more than just channels it is people you know the personality behind it that the, the character behind it that makes the channel uh, or you know, or, or is together with a puppet. Or I don't, like, don't want to cut. You, I got to say this: this channel, you got to understand. That if you haven't seen it, yet, you got to check it out because it is dripping with integrity, and that's what's so amazing about this channel. It's it's so full of integrity. The work into it. it, it mm, mm, that's why, I, like once a month, because there is that much work to make it what it is. And no, it doesn't look like a Jim Henson production with millions of dollars behind it. It's just the integrity. You can feel the love in doing what's done between the director, Patsy, and the rest of the cast. Mm -hmm. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she sounded like a puppet from Mr. Rogers' Neo. Yeah. That kind of era, but like what like Xenia said too, like that SpongeBob-ish kind, kind of, you know, not quite for children thing, you know, not roaringly offensive but also not yeah so. children can watch it too but they're not gonna get the message yes, because exactly. it, it, the way it is done they're not gonna understand it but adults are gonna get it and that's what is such a amazing part of it is to, yeah. to do that at the same time that you can the same as spongebob you can watch it at the same time with your child but the message that you both are going to be getting is going to be different yeah. You know, and, and, and it's hard to do, especially with a puppet. Like, how how do you even do that? 
I, I think it's a real mastery. I, I really do. Really enjoyed it. Yes, really, really you thorough. So, so much. Yes. Oh my God, I'm waiting. Uh, that was so amazing. Uh, uh, and thanks, uh, and thank you, Angel, for sticking around and saying thanks for having me. Of course, it was our pleasure. James says there was another one like that that was called, uh, oh, I know, uh, Captain Scarlet. Oh, see, I'm not good on this stuff because I never followed a lot of them, so I wouldn't have a lot to bring to the table. Uh, thank you yeah. for coming. Yeah, I see uh, bits of Real Panther has to go and do yeah. the video for sure. Like yeah. first videos too. Um, uh, thank you all for sticking around tonight. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have uh, Mr. Hosier. Yes. And am I pronouncing it correctly? I think it is Hosier OD. That's what I call it. Okay. Yeah. So Mr. Hosier OD is going to be tonight, uh, tomorrow. Oh, my God. Well, mm. almost <laughs> today. <laughs> so definitely tune in at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, tomorrow for interview. Mm-hmm. And then uh, on Saturday, I was going to wait. I was waiting for you to say something. And then on Saturday, tune in for hashtag Millions Missing. Uh, me and two beautiful ladies, uh, Stephanie Conroy, that is an autism mom blogger. She has a YouTube channel, but she's more bigger on Twitter. And she also has uh, lupus and is a caretaker for her mother that also has it. And uh, um, another one of my guests, uh, London Moore, or uh, also known as Chronic Mermaid on Instagram. Uh, they're going to be uh, both talking about their chronic invisible illnesses as well as me about mine. We're going to be changing, interchanging experience and also raising awareness uh, through uh, some informational material from uh, Fibromyalgia National Association as well as National Invisible Illnesses Association and hashtag uh, me action as well as uh, Montreal uh, pain clinic um, uh, psychologist, therapist, uh, have graciously provided me uh, with uh, materials and her uh, advice on uh, dealing with it. And we're going to be interacting with the chat and talking about that. Uh, uh, it's uh, the day that all the world is uh, uh, educating people and raising awareness, and we're going to try and contribute to it. So I will be very happy to see you guys on Saturday in our special edition at 8 p.m. as well. And you mm. forget what time is it. We're here every day at 8 p.m. Monday mm. to Saturday, <laughs> 8 p.m. Eastern. No, James, I haven't started fasting yet. Not, well, kind of semi, but not by choice. <laughs> Probably the best answer. Uh, you guys should do an interview with the Muppet Band, Electric Mayhem. Okay, interesting. Oh, All suggestions welcome. I'm just taking a look here right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yes, they did like that Muppets thing that they go, yes, <laughs> that would be interesting. That would be interesting for sure. Oh, Patsy did a children's video. Yeah. The kitty for the nephew. Oh, this is so cute. Two year old, uh, for his two year old nephew. <laughs> That's real. What an amazing ch oh my god oh my this this was so nice tonight they're all all great and the, just in their own way and tonight was just, I don't know it's a bit of a bit of return to innocence in the whole thing with like I say with so much electric you know electronically created yeah material. I think was, like, that's why it always uh, you know gets a smile on people's yeah. faces because it's like oh childhood or mm -hmm. it's always some kind of warm feelings even if you were in the fan of it when you were a child yeah. it's still that association I think is there so mm -hmm. uh, you know it's like I don't know it's like a piece of, of uh, when, innocence is uh, if you haven't checked out Patsy's channel, you gotta check her, or, and, and you're gonna really, really like her. Uh, it's um, yeah, oh my god, I don't know what it is. I, I can't even put Patsy, words together. What you're doing with him, yeah. it's unbelievable. I never seen him acting like that, and I'm not. <laughs> I can't even put a free, I, 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 he I, doesn't I, act like that with anybody else, sometimes with me, uh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, with blushing. And uh, I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm starting to worry myself. Yeah, uh, just stay. Yeah. In, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious. Like I can't put a sentence together. Like, I know. I, I know. Think, you lose I, your I, voice, your speech. 
it gets all like I I don't understand it. You blush, you laugh, you all of a sudden like the it's I don't know what's going on with you. I really <laughs> don't. It's just it's just interesting to watch. Uh, some special effect yeah. on that. So and because like, even as growing up like a kid, I was never into kid stuff very much. Like I, yeah, I watched some cartoons and stuff like that, but I. I don't know, because I, I grew up in a pretty, like, it's a rural area. We all had to, uh, you know, uh, working on farms, farm machine. But, I mean, it wasn't like we had no childhood. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It just never really clicked with me. A lot of kids shows and stuff like that and everything. So that's even more of a reason. Uh, Susie Chelly is all flustered. <laughs> yes, Susie, that's, that's, that's right. That's the way, Andy. <laughs> Oh my god. I know I know I absolutely love your I love your channel. It's just so amazing. It's so nice to see that there's still good things like that out there. It's such a pleasure. They uh you always keep me in stitches. And uh let's see here. Sorry, I'm just opening up windows here. I'm moving stuff around. Oh no, 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 oh, no, good. guys. <laughs> Susie, hide! Hide! No, no! Oh my goodness. You need that other music on that. I'll do that in a second. That is better. So now that <laughs> we always have to do a tradition when Susie's in. And here comes the money shot. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, next time we should be, yeah, exactly. We should be showing your look while you're watching that. Yeah, a bottle caps look I'd like to see. Where is he tonight? He was in and gone back out again. He is doing his back... A backlog tire or something that is really heavy for the third day already. Backlog tire. Yeah, some kind of big tire that's very heavy to do, and he's, this is the third day he's doing it. That's... Don't ask me; it's a mechanic thing. So. Okay. Uh, interesting. Up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is one of those times where we are on Adult Swim live with Pusha. <laughs> <laughs> oh well thank you for coming back that's awesome it's just so funny because you always say that you are going and then you come back it's like sneaking back in i'm here we're glad to see you we are back to naughty bits today where uh passy was in the channel still but uh on the on the chat but uh, we are back with Adult Swim. Uh, so if you are into naughty bits, then... Uh, <laughs> naughty Susie's... bits. Okay, what are we, Monty Python now? <laughs> <laughs> then Susie's channel is being featured again. You know what I mean? Green and fuzzy. <laughs> hey, I've helped make Susie famous because of this. <laughs> I would want to know what her analytics go yes. from Canada. Especially, uh, it's not too bad that there is no like purpose... <laughs> analytics um from montreal you know there you go see i should have saved that song the other night i, I know can't find it well now. now oh here it is i think there we go all righty folks have no are fear. you ready <laughs> it's like our our beginning are you ready <laughs> are you ready who's ready to party <laughs> all righty let's get this on folks back by popular demand oh don't shake kathy this is gonna be the shake one
that was the music was spot on. Oh, oh my God. This is this is never gonna end, Susie. This is just no. Oh, I, I oh, and that's right, Susie. I will bookmark that music so we don't lose it. Yes, I will definitely make sure that's not lost. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. <laughs> tasty bits, yeah. See, and Rick is saying instead of naughty bits, it's tasty. Bits. There you go, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you gotta do that other channel. Susie's tasty bits. <laughs> Susie, you you handle the food and we'll get you going. <laughs> After midnight show, Susie's yeah. tasty bits. <laughs> we'll get you somewhere, kid. Don't worry. We only got your best uh, interest at heart, so. Oh, oh my god. Uh, how about ding dogs? Yeah, she's got some of those. <laughs> There's all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, there are cherries in a in a chocolate. That's a very good video too. And yeah. Twinkies are also quite interesting. But we have a very group in here, so let's not get too carried away with the wording. So I'll just keep on someone before it even starts. You should yeah. try the tedious girl <laughs> by Lords of Acid. Okay, I gotta check that out. Yeah. You gotta go on the floor, <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> you gotta go on the floor. You can't shake that bed. <laughs> I have a bra that looks like that. That's <laughs> 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 it, <laughs> Oh my oh, god, oh, lady, that's... is it green? <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Uh, oh you guys are yeah. crazy. No, I yeah. wanna I wanna hear that. Uh Lords of Acid. We'll just all sit here while Xavier exactly listens to music. Of course, because we can't share it. In case it's copyright. No, I know I didn't mean that. I mean Tutstuts. Tuts tuts, yeah. That's the Russian for God, it's a tuts tuts. <laughs> Rami, it's a tuts tuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. So fun, bro, like that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Patsy. <laughs> That's right, Rick. She's famous. Famous. We have helped build up something famous here. Susie will always be known for her coconut mounds. <laughs> her green coconut mounds. Sounds like something awful. Like, what's his name? Captain Kirk used to hit on in star trek well like we were talking about people love like those how are they called asmrs yeah where people yeah. are eating stuff and do close-ups and with all the sound you know eating yeah. a hamburger or whatever so i'm pretty sure that it would be amazing following to that susie's tasty bits i'm I, the same <laughs> ones um best friend in your thread vlogs we're gonna get you doing this one <laughs> Look how many supporters you already have here. Uh, hey there, hey, Joe. Oh, Joe, you're right on time. We're on the adult swim part. <laughs> if you have video to edit, then probably this is not uh, the best use of your timing, although we do love to see you. <laughs> yeah, go back and watch more with, with, with Patsy. It was a little more culture. Yeah, yeah. This this was, is uh, honestly. It was, if you get a chance, though, you got to check it out. Patsy was absolutely spectacular. Kathy's well. silently laughing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can just picture the bed is still shaking, <laughs> yeah, exactly. no matter how loud or silent That's you're right. laughing. And Patsy rocks is right. She does rock. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it was so amazing. Oh, and, yeah. uh, if you would love to go and check uh, um, our show with her, she was really amazing. Talking about so many things and and oh. serious things too, which I love. A hey, Joe is asking what he missed. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you miss? Oh no, did Joe <laughs> haven't seen it? <laughs> it's impossible, Joey. Joey. Where are we? We're just mixing here, and then we have Susie's video.
and that's pretty much what you missed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we watch this video here pretty regularly. Yeah. It's our on the regular rotation within and outside of life. Yeah. Push. <laughs> Does it, it takes very little things to amuse me. So. And Rick, it has already become our regular bit. Yeah. My God, I don't know, yeah. for a month already at least it has been a regular yeah. bit here every so often. Started only on Friday evenings when mm. we used to hang out with everybody. But no, now it's become it's like, it's like just, coming uh, home now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I I I figured Polly would love this one too. Yeah. 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 This this you gotta check Susie's channel if you haven't. Like Twinkie video afterwards and uh, the chocolate uh, cover cherry the chocolate cover cherry video is Dory, just, I'm not playing it, but I has gotta, to be X rated or something. See, look at it, a it, month ago. This is what I wrote. Uh oh uh once yeah, again, five star the started. Maybe a little too hot for television, though. It's like she didn't even realize when she made it. Yeah. <laughs> and like it was, I was la I was roaring when I see it. I was like, oh my god, this is too much. Yeah, yeah. you gotta go check it. Like, uh, yeah, it's 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 just way too much. And now I keep seeing the the chocolate cherries in my head now because yeah. those were. Oof. For a channel that doesn't review stuff and do anything, I think Susie's got the most coverage, like tenfold of anybody for that one video. I, <laughs> that's all I don't know if Patsy is serious or setting up a joke. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Yeah. I think that's that's the whole catch of it, and now, that's what I like Kathy about it. Kathy has tears in her eyes. <laughs> Polly wants what to you just watched. Well, you watched uh, a review of uh, uh, fuzzy green balls. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, who's on the channel here, the Susie channel. Susie Tasty Bits. Yeah. <laughs> 2.0. <laughs> uh. Oh, Steve O is in. Well, welcome, welcome. You're right on time. We are right back on on our Tasty Bits. And this is what Susie does. You're gonna show the cherry video too and Twinkies. It's no, just something. this is my favorite and will always be my favorite. <laughs> and Susie calls, I don't know, what is it? She inhibits food, <laughs> gets close and personal with food. Uh, yeah, she yeah. reviews cakes yeah. and Twinkies. I don't know. But it will always be that famous shot, no matter what video she makes, will always come down to this. This will always be my favorite one. <laughs> It's just the circular circular motion of both fingers of like tune in Tokyo going on with hostess flow. <laughs> she squeezes things yeah. all day. There you go. There you go. That's right. Yeah. No, you definitely yeah. put some nice music on, like you know, like yeah, candlelight, good, sweet. candlelight. A little, you know, what what does roll yeah. for you? Like little yeah. jazz or black velvet or whatever, whatever turns you on. And just watch Susie's channel. Like put it on a play. Is it off. edible? Yeah, yeah, it is edible. I don't know after Susie's done with it, but so far, yeah, yeah. it's edible. Yeah, yeah, she does food reviews, like uh, snack reviews and that, but no yeah. talking. No joking. Just yeah. put the nice music on and watch all playlists of Susie's. Watch Susie get up and personal with coconut bumps. Uh, oh my god, you guys are funny. <laughs> You're calling protective food services, you people. <laughs> 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 Oh no, Kathy got kicked out of the room. <laughs> we got you in trouble. Oh, oh, he loved the video, didn't he? When we showed him too. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so funny. Sweaty. Age on sweaty ball. That was so funny. I'm calling food protective services. Oh no. Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh, you guys are too much. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Alien6467. Uh, it's you guys and the guests that make it happen. We're, uh, you guys are amazing. Though you guys no show. So we thank you very much.
Yes, Ag Ajos, SNL, exactly, exactly. It's so much. Uh, uh, I love I love those quotes. <laughs> oh, uh, S2W Themes, you're off. Thank you so much for coming. It was a blast. It's always a pleasure having you guys here. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable time with us. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, Alec Baldwin, exactly. <laughs> Oh. Did the SNL get to the sweetie balls? Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Here, my popular demand. <laughs> Wait, I'll find the, t the, the exact second where you have to put it. Right. 140. 140? Okay. Yeah. Here's another. If you're not familiar with uh, Susie's work, this is what she does. 140s. Yeah, I know that. I'm just. So as you can see, it's just music. There's no voice. Uh, when, let's go a couple of minutes, seconds before. There you go. There you go. I know Bottle Caps love this one. <laughs> yeah, Bottle Caps been talking about this for days. I think we've I think we've created a monster. They're popping the cherry there. <laughs> and we've lost all credibility. <laughs> right there. You can pinpoint the moment it happened. So in true Andrew fashion. Oh my god. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh, this is really bad. The music really makes it bad. <laughs> oh. And just put that the music to everything. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. But hey, Joe Polly is now smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Who was saying the other day on the chat that they haven't smoked for seven years? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Polynesian Walker. You came yeah, yeah, in yeah, right on really time, time. Our <laughs> adult swim uh, version. Thank God we have Patsy kind of evened out the class yes, here tonight. Because uh, we got, we just can't keep it together. <laughs> she bought us credits so we can do this stuff after. Oh my God. Oh, God. You never know what you find. Yeah. And, and this no. has been a great find. <laughs> 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 no. That's it. I'm calling you. Like yeah, she yeah, said, bottle like... caps has watched it at least hundred times. I, I think we yeah. have shown it at, at least a couple yeah. of uh, hundred times. Uh, I think. I think. One. I think bottle caps broke his mouse clicking on it. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> repeat. 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 Oh, you're calling? No. No. <laughs> Send to Gulag. <laughs> Oh, oh, you guys are so. We are anticipating your next one, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, I, I know. Bottle caps does live it over and over, and it's this weird feeling when bottle caps is not in the chat. Like there's like an unbalance. There. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Drust with the commissioner. Yeah, I would like to make a report. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's been caught up in that yeah, bottle, pack yeah. of cigarettes. Ran, probably <laughs> yeah. ran away to the store to get another yeah. one because <laughs> I haven't been. 
Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a pack of cigarettes on another mouse, please? Oh, my God, almighty. He's... Uh... <laughs> so you can't say we haven't helped you with your channel, Susie. That's one thing you can't accuse me of. I've been more than giving up my time for it, so... <laughs> Uh, and I never get tired of it. I know it's pitiful, but it is true. <laughs> um, well, I, I don't know. We'll give her a few more minutes to chat. We'll shut down 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll shut down 10 minutes. We'll shut down in 10 minutes completely. <laughs> 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 okay. Susie can go make a sandwich after that. <laughs> she has a, a tall husband, doesn't she? Said. Was it Susie said that? No, Stephanie's husband. Stephanie does, but I thought six, I thought seven or something. But I thought Susie said too one night because when bottle caps was going on, she said about her husband. She was saying that her husband is going to cut off her internet if we keep talking. Oh, about that's that. what it was. But okay, I don't know, maybe okay, he's yeah, tall too. yeah. Remember the show Miss Kathy left to go to the bedroom? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They get you, they get well, we out. always get her in trouble. Now she got kicked out of the bedroom <laughs> yeah, because she was, she was laughing too hard in a bed and her and Chris, her husband, <laughs> struck her out. <laughs> now, Kathy, where are you? <laughs> now probably you took away her phone. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sitting, there, sitting there giggling in the porch. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh my God, Almighty! Oh, you guys are too amazing. Oh, by the way, Susie was saying that uh, one of her next videos is an apple pie, so I we could Ooh. only wonder what that is going to turn into. But yeah, uh, we'll definitely check that out. Anything apple pie, I'm all about it. I don't know if I can't it. eat it, but you know, I don't think I'm going to get all over it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I'll de I'll make it. I'll put it this way. I'll definitely put it to the music, oh. so I have no fear. <laughs> like he love treats too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, does he? Mm. I s I hear innuendos coming. I'm kind of jealous. You get to try all these things. <laughs> I'm because I'm such a sweet tooth, and I'm just going through your channel now again. And so, oh my god. Especially in the states, like. We don't get half of those things out there. I mean, not we don't. It's a lot better. One time it was awful here. We almost got none of them, but now we're getting more. But you guys, because of the size, I mean, you guys even get stuff in the east or the west side of the states that the other ones don't get. Yeah, I think the first one that I got to watch was your oh. um, was was some kind of different kind of uh, Oreos that we don't get. Um, James was asking uh, who said they were going to cut off the internet and for what. Oh, it was uh, Kathy's husband, Chris, because she keeps laughing in the bed and shaking it. So he throws her out, but he warned her if she keeps doing it. No, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. That was the Susie one. I'm starting to mix all of them up. Susie. Susie's, yeah, because bottle caps and uh, Irvin to pay tours, I think it was. Yes. We're getting discussing that cherry video and quite intensely so they were turning yeah. her channel into american pie yes movie, <laughs> and i had to put them in detention both of them for 300 <laughs> seconds or whatever it's called they were very good after they came back for that stream <laughs> after detention <laughs> and yes yeah, Susie said that if it's going to be more of that than her husband i think that's the first time you ever did it to somebody yes well oh, that, you, that, <laughs> you know everything is allowed here but yeah. that when and i mean Susie asked for help so i mean i can't uh, you know but they were good we, we just put we didn't ban them it just was the tension <laughs> like at school they were behaving like two teenagers so they got <laughs> no i got the treatment the treatment no less yes the treatment <laughs> Uh, I try not to eat them, she says. Doug takes them to work and his office is gaining weight. Oh, <laughs> yes. What does your shirt says? Polly's asking. I have no idea. I don't know. I could own it for a year and have no idea. Okay, don't get all pulling and yanking at my clothes. It says too many letters. <laughs> originals. This part says originals. Yes. I don't know. Sand. 
I don't know what it says. I feel like when you check a child for like if they have dirt on them before you take someone. That's <laughs> that, that was my that, that 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 was that that's what does it for a guy. <laughs> well, apparently Puppet does. So. <laughs> Again, though. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. You need to watch a video called Joseph Touches a Grapefruit. <laughs> oh, the title's definitely catchy. <laughs> yeah, I'm so intrigued right now. Oh my God! Yeah, I don't. I'll have to watch that after. Yeah. But thanks for the suggestion. What? Doodle Duck and Susie are married. <coughs> oh, because her husband's named Doug, so somebody must have. Oh, Kathy was asking. Oh, no. you're back, Kathy. I thought mm. that your uh, that Chris took away the phone. Just... <laughs> It's like a real life monitor instead of being on time out. Literally takes the phone. Literally Kathy, makes you stand the corner. Time to go to bed. Yeah. Put that phone down. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kathy goes with her other channel because she uses both of them when she comes in. T <laughs> um, uh, Throg says I have a hard time watching Susie's channel because I start craving sweets. Yeah, me too. Pretty much. <laughs> I want to get my hands. Joey shirt. I want to cover Xenia and hostess cakes after. Do you have it. a Joey shirt? We're gonna. We're. Uh, we have now. I gotta print out. Uh, um, uh, Panic D uh, gave us a certificate of being uh, uh, parapeeps. So we're oh, gonna really? print that out and that. put it. I don't know. We'll need to have a, a, a shelf or something. Mm -hmm. And because uh, then we also is on the way the flask from. Uh, Juliet Miranda. That's true. And uh, uh, Kilos and Heathens uh, podcast part. They are sending their merch over. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, we're starting to receive some uh, goodies, although yeah. <laughs> it's completely not necessary, but very nice and sweet. So I would love to display them behind us uh, for those people who did that. So I'm going to send uh, you an age old t-shirt. Yeah, because that's, I'd love That's so cool. Oh, definitely. So we're gonna, yes, as they come you. in, we're gonna start putting them out somewhere. We're gonna figure out how to do that so you guys can can see them. And uh, just would be nice to have you guys there too. She's joking, right? Who is joking? Susie. Yes, it's doodles by Doug. Is my hus is my husband? I don't know. Susie. Doug, where are you? You would order a Pusha t-shirt? We've yeah. kind of talked about it. I, I don't know what to do with all of that. It, I think it's, I, I don't see anything wrong with a little bit of merch. It would be something interesting, but. Probably more into prints of, of pictures and stuff like that. Yeah, we're kind of, you know, and I don't want to turn into, a, okay, yeah. I, no, I, he is your husband. Well, there you go. We didn't know. Really? Like, okay, let the time out. No joking here. And you can say, oh, you got me, and that's fine, and I'll have a laugh, and I'll cry inside for a little. But you're up, You're really being serious here. Wow. That's right, Terrell. That's the point. Interesting. No joking, yeah. Well, that's so cool. Why exactly. are you guys hiding? Good God. Or we're the last ones to know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. No. No, we didn't know that. Not in the least. Still seems quite unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I still feel like there's, like, I feel like I'm on, like, Just for Laughs gags or something I like that. I think nobody's going to yeah. believe you guys. That. <laughs> <laughs> we are married, Susie and Doug. Wow. Well, well, thank you for sharing. Uh, yeah, that's uh, quite cool. <laughs> you yeah. should put that out more. You guys should be our guests. 
both of you. Oh, yeah, Joey, I actually was looking into uh, some of the um, websites that do merch, not because I we want to have merch, mm -hmm. I even hate the word of it, but yeah. T-shirts is a great idea uh, just for us to, uh, even before YouTube, we were thinking about it because of when we do event works and it's not something more official, then we could wear it as part of our uh, branding. But we were uh, more, I you know, thinking about using our photography into prints for merch because we already sell prints and, and pictures of uh, nature and travel and so on as well. So we could use that as part of YouTube uh, integration too. But I haven't found really a, a, a website so far that I like so much. I have two or three that I'm looking into. One of them is Society6 uh, and two other ones that I can't remember right on the spot. So if you have any ideas that you are using, I would just love to hear uh, just to know more about it before we really do something about it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know you guys only show your hands. He says he t uh, she talked him into doing his channel. Well, I'm glad she did because you got also got amazing, amazing talent. Oh well, yes, exactly. We could do an interview where you guys talk and just show doing, the hands. <laughs> you're being punked. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what to think about it. <laughs> yeah, I know you were a mod on his stream, uh, but I thought it's just because yeah. we all were hanging out. So I thought you kind of volunteered or <laughs> mm -hmm. you know like the lovely people you guys are so yeah. oh thank you Kathy oh. uh but uh yeah wow it's like the the biggest reveal of the night yeah, Don't exactly. the dog <laughs> and the Susie channel I I can't believe that well now we definitely have to have you on yep both at the same time that's right what a great reveal for you guys if you just want to do it. And if you have reasons why you don't want to be like seen fully on camera, like I say, we can kind of do just more talking and just aim down at the hands. You guys are the ones with the cameras on, so you can aim them wherever you want. Exactly. Susie and Doug are always hanging out for the last 10 years. And we were here for it. Yes. <laughs> That's right. God. See, you guys thought no, and everybody's like sitting here like mesmerized right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, what just happened? Uh, How we didn't put it together? Yeah. News, news, news. Does bottle caps know that? Yeah. <laughs> Susie can sharpen my pencils on camera. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Some wrestle. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Guess who we have tonight? Yeah. Uh, no, no. See, apparently nobody knew. <sighs> Everybody, look, mesmerized, yeah. shocked. Oh, my God. This is like the biggest thing. She put it out on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> You know, da 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 da. Breaking news: The city channels married to tells my dog. You could renew your vows on our channel and just your hands putting on the rings and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sharpening pencils idea. Oh um, God, teeth drug. Doug needs to doodle. Susie's hostess. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That would be a big reveal. That's not what he means. I know. Okay, because I know you sometimes. They'll say something like that. You'll say it completely on the other side. Oh, my. Oh, welcome, uh, one crazy Norlander. Welcome. Good to see you. You get a mod. There you go. Good to have you back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Um, that, yeah, you, you left us speechless. Well, that is so cool. Can we watch? <laughs> no, you, <laughs> you can't. Just, just like that, just like that cherries that you opened up, you can't go back once it's done. So, Tavarish Lenin says none of that. <laughs> none of that. None of that. Mm. Nay. I still think Latvian for that all the time. Who is doodling whose pencil? <laughs> yeah. That's a good question. Yep. 
Life with Ken and Jane, I don't know if you were here at this point. We just found out that the Susie channel and Doodles by Doug are actually husband and wife. So that's why we're all kind of shocked and surprised right now. So in a good way. In a good way. They're two awesome channels. Uh, I hope, Doug, Doug, I hope for the record you didn't mind me putting stripper music to your wife's videos <laughs> the last couple of weeks. That was like, <laughs> awkward. <Yeah. laughs> He doodled for us, so he can't be too upset about the whole thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God almighty. Uh, it's amazing how Susie always finds a way to be the center of attention. <laughs> oh. Life with Ken and Jane, I just fainted. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite interesting. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, we are yeah, waiting. Yeah. We are waiting for that. Yeah. Uh, oh no, Kathy. Yes, please go to bed. Yeah, you yeah. need to get some sleep. Life, real life comes first. So you take care and please be safe tomorrow on the road. And good luck. And uh, hope you get everything done quickly for your son's dorm room. Thank you so much for being here tonight. It was such a good night. This this is what tonight is an exact this is a perfect example of this channel at its finest was tonight with all you guys in it. And the stuff that went on and the laughs and then the, the, the amazing, beyond amazing guests, Patsy Ola and, and then this afterwards. Jesus, we are the right influence. <laughs> <laughs> We are the, we're just what the doctor called for. <laughs> laugh is always good. It makes you healthier. It exactly. prolongs your life. So if you're laughing, you That's do right. It. And we're going to have to uh, turn it off soon. And that's have to get back to real life. We should end uh, like Sopranos with black screen every time. I feel like such a, a douche doing that to everybody. <laughs> God, I get it. And tonight, <laughs> lol. I got to watch my grandson and daughter in a small RV. In a small RV is tomorrow. He's is bouncing off the walls. Or oh, oh really? Oh, cool. Yeah, I must be so excited, eh? That's oh, so have cool. a fun. Have an amazing time. Mm. That's so cool. These next six months, years are going to be so absolutely amazing. Uh, it's what an experience, and we're looking forward to, the, to seeing it. You know, when it is, Tivo, when I read your sentence, I read it in the voice of the Latino uh, uh, housemaid of Family Guy. <laughs> I don't know why. But it sounds so funny. What the hell are you on? No, I should narrate Susie's next food vlog. It's like instead of the question, it's an actual, uh, you know, affirmative statement. Yeah, yeah. So in my head when I read it, I read it in that voice of uh, of the character from Family Guy. Have a good night, James. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, yeah. Appreciate it. Polly just told me that you guys are so awesome on Twitch for doing here. So not watching. Oh, uh, yes. Can't we just see you guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. How are those tulips going? <laughs> Unreal. The last time we were talking about it. That old joke, what's better than four roses on a piano? Too? I didn't say that. We were talking about that on the two, like, two streams before when, when Joey was here. So I just referenced it. You didn't even know what I was talking about. So... Okay, well, I've told you the joke. That's why I thought you were referencing that one. No. Okay. Not so cheesy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad geeks are not in. I would say that we don't even need to drink. <laughs> <laughs> to the oh, oh, my God. Geeks last night, they were loaded like times 10. It was all. If you get to go, if you want to go back and watch something, you watch a bit of their live stream from last night. They they must have felt like shit this morning. Like, oh my god! <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm putting it here. Oh, oh guys, everybody has to do this. Oh, oh. 
Doug, you're you're a very lucky man. <laughs> that's, that's oh, all I got to say. In the okay. Moment. So now everybody has to retweet this. Oh. Oh my Lord God and Father. <laughs> the gift has was born. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Good evening. How are you? We're unfortunately we're going to be shutting it down pretty soon. We were saying that a while ago, but we've had a lot of uh, big shockers tonight and stuff like that. So this this, this has been uh, it's been quite an evening, I must say. We've covered it all. <laughs> oh no, it's alive. Yes. Yeah, Susie. I, I would like to know the analytics. I wish there was somebody could check it just for me playing that thing so many times. Thank you, Patsy, again uh, for coming yes. over. Uh, it was such an amazing talk with you. I really, I really, 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 really appreciate, appreciate you that. coming. It's uh, you're such an amazing talent. And please, if I miss a video, come on over here and let me know, and I'll go right over and check it out. So, because it's never by choice. <laughs> Ken, life with Ken and Jay. Well, I'm hanging in there, whether you go or not. <laughs> oh, you, you guys are kind of like they come to us like um, like the wrestlers from the '80s. Like everyone has have your own personality, something you bring to the table here. <laughs> You're all superstars in your own way. <laughs> Oh, that was so funny. I love that. The, the gif, that was just like bang on. Uh, yeah, but, you know, uh, you, you, everybody's got stuff to do. So you're in, you know, you catch what you can. It's always great to have you here. Forgot. Uh, I give you a mod. There you go. As a little way of saying thank you for being here. I tagged in hostess snacks in that. So let's see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you imagine that gets picked up by hostess? Yeah, I just tagged oh. them in. So. <laughs> See, Susie, you might get famous because of us. <laughs> because of your video, Doug's GIF, and our push. Everybody working together to get you noticed. Oh, oh yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Or sued. No. No. <laughs> No, you well, won't get sued. It wasn't intended no. like that. So no, 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 no. That's yeah, right, yeah. Doug. Teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah, let's let, let's tweet it out so it gets a little bit up on the notice. So. You guys got to come on the two years. I mean, just I don't care. It doesn't even bother me. If you don't show your faces. That adds to the mystique of it. <laughs> but at least the talk and the two years together. Would you guys be willing to do it? Because we got a couple open dates. I don't know. I think it would be a lot of fun to have you guys on. Think about is it. going to start sending her crates of goodies. Exactly. Exactly. <gasps> yes, that would be so yeah. cool. Well, mm -hmm. you could, uh, you know, you could uh, be sponsored by a new That's sponsorship right. program. And I think Susie's over 5,000 now. So you get to enjoy. Yes, you get to enjoy a sponsorship program. So who knows? Good night. That's how I roll. Good night. Thank you so much, and I hope your days hope are getting better good. every day. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, Great. this is going to be my favorite yeah. uh, tweet uh, in the following days. This is amazing. Yes, exactly. So you can get your sponsorship now from uh, <clears throat> from chat, uh, from different companies and stuff. So who knows? You take care, Ken. Or uh, Ken and Jean, not sure if you're both here, but thank you so much for coming by. Yeah, I seen that, Susie. That's amazing. That's that's a, it's it's amazing. You've been really shooting it up. Yeah. Uh, it's it's great to see. And doodles. Uh, what does Oreo lead to? The question is. <laughs> Ajo says, "When I get a thousand subscribers, we're coming on. If you'll have us, we'll have you anytime, anytime. my friend." You know that already without God, a doubt. Don't even have to ask. Yeah. You know it. You got a home at this channel since the beginning. So always, always, always welcome to come. Well, life with Ken and Jane has eight more to thousand. 
God. Well, whoever is not yeah. the sub right now, go and press that button. Want to put their link? Uh, boy. Just, it's good to have a second in because they're leaving. That's why. Uh, yeah, if it's eight. Uh, oh, they're still there. Okay. Yeah, guys, they're eight away. If there's anybody, anybody so can get them up there. Like I say, we don't do this very often, but every now and then it's fun when it's the end of the night to play around for a few minutes. Let's see, Life of Ken and Jane. This is why I should have my, uh, my uh, oh God, Social Blade plugins in, but I don't. Uh, Social Blade, S-O-C-I-L-B-L-A-D-E. I'm sure you guys enjoyed me spelling all that out. <laughs> Life with Ken and Jane. Uh, it's, you see, that's, yeah, you get a bit the discrepancy part. That's typical. They got you at nine. Oh, wait. They might update you here. Nine ninety four. Come on. Guys, if anybody's in there hasn't joined yet, they're missing six. And they're a good channel. And they're going on a six month. Uh, Excursion, and there's going to be lots of great footage and stuff like that. This is why I don't like doing and share the full screen, so just bear with me. I'm going to put it back and just put it as window so I can still see what you guys are doing. There we go. Share it side by side. There. 995. Ex excellent Polynesian vlogger. Thank you very much for that. Anyone near the flows? I lived on uh, time on the big island. Oh, you guys are making four more guys. This would be like what the third or fourth one that's hit a thousand, I think, on here. Yep. That's true. I'm going to go and check because you never know. YouTube might have. No, I am still subscribed fully. Which is good, but in a way it sucks because then I could have clicked and gave an extra one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What it's For four people, I think I would do it just to help them out because it's so close. Thank you, Shire, for doing that. They're a great channel. And leave a comment because they're great followers too. So, yes, it's a PBS fundraiser. That's right. <laughs> Uh, so if you don't, if you pledge one hundred dollars, you'll get some crappy book that's made out of, uh, well, it looks like an old, uh, what do you call those little? They used to give them the churches, or my mother get them there. They're folded over and stapled once by some old woman. There. Oh to look like yeah, a book. my God, yes, yeah. Yeah, I'm six miles away from the floor. Okay, who needs four? Uh, Life with Ken and Jane needs two now. Literally two, and they hit a thousand right here. So, if you got any friends that you can ask really quickly, oh, I'll have it on stream here so they'll be able to keep it as a keepsake, if you will. Kind of like when you go down one of the rides at Disney, it's the next best thing in excitement. Jerry Lee Lewis, T Throg just did. See how the stairs have been going here? Do, 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 do. Let's see. I'm gonna, I hate hitting refresh, but. Huh? What happened? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so it's good. Still two more, guys. If there's two years, I know a lot of us have already subscribed to them. We've all known each other for a while, but if there's two more people there that haven't had a connection with life. Oh, God, one more. One more, guys. One more, and we got it. This is so cool. There we go, guys. We got it. How excellent is that? <clears throat> Congratulations. That is so cool. <laughs> excellent. That was so cool. Congratulations, guys. I'm really proud of you. Look at that. 101, 1001. You're already now starting towards your next thousand. Congratulations. Well, well off yeah. to your journey now. 
Yeah. So I'm so happy. Jane is hitting the seal. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That's nice. Good for you guys. Here, so nice that rolls back. So we're going to leave it at a thousand. We're going to, because it will go back and forth a bit. But excellent job, guys. Job. Uh, you guys are absolutely incredible. It's always nice to be with you guys. We will wake up. At, yeah, now we'll have to, don't let it bother you. And then a couple yeah, of yeah, hours it, later, you'll be back up it again. Go, it will slide back and forth for a yeah. bit. Uh, and then it's going to go back. You've hit a thousand. Over. Nobody can take that away from you. You even got video proof. And if you want to cut that part of the video and put it up or anything like that, go right ahead. Oh, yes. It's, exactly. You've earned it. Congratulations. Well. Like I say, we don't do it all the time. It's fun once in a while. It's been something close like that, you know. Yeah, I'm really happy. That's so nice to watch. Thank you for letting us be a part of it. Rolling home center need I need four four. Where are you at? Who is that? Uh roll uh rolling homestead. Oh, God, yeah, you're only four away from 1,700. Wow. Good job, God. Yeah, no. you got a really good channel, too, and you're good at maintain. you got lots of good content here. So when someone gets on here, they just use... Yes, we, we send a, a link uh, to, for example, for you, a Twitter uh, on the messages that we have talked to. Uh, we send a link and you just press it and you're on if mm -hmm. everything goes without a hitch, uh, requiring that you have your Google uh, account mm -hmm. uh, um, and Hangouts set up. And um, that's it. Yep. Just press the button and you're on. Oh, Terrell, you literally just hit 500 on the dot. Yay! Congratulations. Good for you. She is the original. She is the den mother of mods here. She's been right from the beginning. Well, I kind of deputized her as mod without her even asking. I just kind of threw her into the yeah. role because she was such. She was our first real loyal watcher, and she was always here earlier. Oh my god, yes, yeah, yeah and uh, always mm. here. Well, that's what I like about this channel. This is not the purpose of uh, of what we do, but it's great to have it as a bonus. Uh, exactly, and once in a while it happens. Uh, so uh, why not? It's uh, it's just a great add on mm. to all the other great things that you guys are. Good night, Teeth Throg. Thank you so much for coming, and you're welcome for the lives, and thank you for always making us better here. Uh, that would be awesome to collab with you guys someday, uh, Ponies and Vlogger. Oh, I was talking to sure. that. Oh, he's talking to that's how I roll. <laughs> but with there, us, too. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we love your show. And uh, Life with Ken and Jane says, thanks, everyone. Ajo says, can you guys get me to 10,000 before you close off the show? <laughs> Keep creating those awesome yeah. videos. I love the last one. Yeah. Uh, so uh, amazing. It where you guys just got to look at the names in the list. And you realize you're surrounded by very creative people. <laughs> like a people. <laughs> I never got it. This is exactly when she starts to laugh or says something. You'll never get a word out of it. <laughs> yeah, she finds it funny. <laughs> She's just pointing in a general direction. Is one of the lines in the chat? Uh, well, here's a, this has been so much fun. I'll just show you, everybody. Thank you for saying good night. I might have peed a little. Oh, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. god! Oh, you guys are funny. Oh, guys, you mm -hmm. are just crazy. There, see, Rolling Homestead is one away from seventeen hundred. Okay, come a, on, come on. That is a pretty good number to be at. I would say myself. Let's just look here. Let's take a gander, if you we will, if we shall. If uh, last one of the night. How come it's not bringing up his channel name? W I. There we go. Seriously, that's one thing I hate about Social Blade. You got to be like dead on. I would. Probably haven't updated yet. It's gonna do it in a second. It's gonna roll. Oh my, oh, you hit 1700. Oh, we should have opened. Congratulations to you. You do have 1700 now. You're the proud owner there you of. Go. Excellent. That's Perfect. amazing. 
but you you know your channel is really you really got a great channel yeah win city steve will help uh help that out so and up 4004 got 75. so there you go guys we ended on a great note tonight yeah. uh, we started great uh, we continued with amazing patsy on and uh and we are ending on an amazing note as well thank you guys so much for being you thank you so much for making this channel so amazing we love you all we appreciate you all and we wouldn't be this without you guys as always real life comes first anytime you share with us is much appreciated whether it's two minutes or two hours and if you have something special uh just tweet at us uh, at Bush studios uh, uh we're glad to check it out and tweet it out <laughs> so let us know polly is killing herself laughing with you <laughs> <laughs> love it <laughs> <laughs> cheers to keep creating guys have a good night bye, bye